everybody and welcome back to Blue Jays today where today guys we're going to be watching another spring training game of the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, it's March 19th. We're nine days away guys from the real deal from the real season and I am excited. I know Nick is excited to have these games actually matter but there's still some work to be done. We need to make sure we got to believe that what they're doing in spring training is actually working and what a better opponent to prove that your stuff is good. Then against your division rivals, the Baltimore Orioles. We've got some good names in this one. Let's get ready to watch it, guys. I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Blaylog. And uh, there's a lot of starters in here today for your Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, against a division rival, a team who was whooping our ass all up and down the street last year. They had our number. That, yeah, was, la that was last year. That was 2023. This is a mm -hmm. new season, mm -hmm. folks. And this Toronto Blue Jays lineup has been thumping so far this spring they have been swinging the bat with authority oh, yeah. in spring training so far it has been great to watch dude let's take a look over at that toronto blue jays lineup and showcase who we are going to be watching today heck yeah you got george sprayer leading off who uh has been named jay of the week if you guys were watching the blue jays today show you know he's been popping off he had two homers last week in that ops in the short sample size is at 1.185, and they're literally highlighting it on Sportsnet, so we can call it spring training stats. Of course it is, but it's good to see that he's off to a hot start. Mm -hmm. Then we've got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at the DH spot. He also has a 1.1 OPS. Bo Bichette, 990 OPS, just shy of 1,000. Come on, Bo, step it up. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing, buddy? He's going to be actually in the three-hole today. That's a notable flip that you've got Vladdy ahead of Bo Bichette. Maybe they want Bo to be a more of a, a run producer. I mean, Guerrero's got a bigger average this spring, but who knows what they're doing. They're trying some things out. Then you've got Justin Turner in the fourth spot. He's having a decent spring. You got Dalton Varsho who's chopping wood in the, in the, in the five spot. Yeah. And he's then you got really good. Yeah, really good. Really, really good. Alejandro Kirk, he's also doing really, really good. He's got a 1.1 OPS. That's three Blue Jays with a 1.1 OPS this spring. He's been popping off of the home runs he's catching today. Kevin Kiermeyer, center field. He's he had some pretty good games last week. He had two homer game and his uh, kind of overall slash lines increasing. Would like to see a few more hits from Kevin Kiermeyer and get off to a good start. Connor Falefa, he's going to be at second base again. I, mean, you might as well, I might be sounding like a broken record, but also off to a great spring with a 321 batting average. And then Kevin Bishop with a 353 batting average at third base. Notably interesting. We're getting him some reps over there. He's got an OPS over 1,000. <laughs> They're actually just taking a look right there, looking at the uh, versatile defenders, Kevin Biggio and Isaiah mm. Kider Falefa, folks. Uh, both of them have been all over the dime in their entire careers. Uh, their roles, kind of undefined. I mean, y you think you know what you're going to get from them, but at the same point, like, I wouldn't be shocked if by the end of the year, Kevin Biggio's over there at third more times than we anticipate, or yeah. maybe out in the outfield, and Isaiah Kider Falefa is somewhere else that we didn't think. You never know, right? And that's kind of the beautiful thing about having all these dudes who are utility guys, even though you're paying them $7.5 million, <clears throat> IKF. Uh, but either way, folks, a lot of these Jays are doing very, very well right now. We're excited for it. Hound is on the mound yes, with Chris, uh, Chris Bassett going up against the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, last time we were live, Chris Bassett won the J of the game, brought to you by Tim Hortons. We're all up to win, so he's, does he have a chance to repeat? He definitely does here, folks. It's going to be a tough, though, uh, Baltimore Oriole. Um, team. I mean, they're not, they're not playing too many of the regulars, but some guys to note, Jackson Holiday will be leading off. Adelie Rutschman's in there. Um, Kobe Mayo has been popping off for them mm -hmm, this year. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of the big notable guys, but there's a lot of guys that we could probably do some damage against, but it is the Orioles. they got a good farm system. They could do some damage against us. 100%, dude. 100%. So it's going to be a good watch today, everybody. Welcome in, 36 of you guys who are watching us right now. Still a few minutes away from that first pitch. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit the like and smash the subscribe button. Tyler saying Blake Snell signed with San Francisco yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. 62 mil. Not a whole lot. Not that much. Not a whole and lot. Out when when too. you consider that it's it's literally the Cy Young winner. I'm just happy they didn't go to the Yankees. Yeah. Now, something that I, I was listening uh, to the New York Yankees uh, um, team profile projection mm -hmm. by talking baseball Shut out. Um, and one thing that I didn't even realize, but of course this is the this is the way of it, because the Yankees are in their third year of uh, being over the salary cap, yeah, and they're already over the salary cap right now. 
any contract that they pay Blake Snell, they're actually paying 110%. That's insane. You know, so they pay yeah. him they pay him 10 million. His contract's actually 21 million yeah. for them, right? Yeah. So it, when he was asking for 30 million dollars, that's fair, that's reasonable that's, for him, but for them, it's actually 60 plus million. Yeah. So that makes sense as to why they were out of it. I wasn't even factoring that in when we were talking yeah. about it. Um, but yeah, so they're out. San Francisco's in. Seems like a good landing spot. Yeah, I mean, stay far, far away. Also, shout out to the to the Giants, man. They've been sneakily putting together a team. If you guys pay attention to all baseball, I mean, they got Chapman, they got Solaire, they got Jordan Hicks, they got now Blake Snell. Uh, there's a few other guys that made little sneaky uh, signings. They're starting to build a pretty competitive squad. Dude, it feels like they really did pick up a lot of the leftovers, and it's not like their team was completely destitute either. Like, they do have a few guys over there, so... Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if you see a Giants team flirt with uh, with second in that division and, you know, could even be pushing high 80s yeah. wins if everything goes according to plan as possible. See, it's funny you say leftovers. Leftovers of this offseason. The leftovers of this offseason are still quality players. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, 100%, dude. So, uh, yeah, they're looking good. Chris Bassett now coming up to the mound, everybody. So far in four games, 14.2 innings pitched, only 11 hits. Whip well under one. Opponent batting average against 208. Just phenomenal so far yeah. uh, for Chris Bassett, which is something that you love to see, especially with the Kevin Gosman injury. Yeah, absolutely. He'll be number two right now, uh, assuming because we got Jose Barrios. Uh, he's going to be uh, starting the opening day uh, game for the Toronto Blue Jays, which will be in Tropicana Field. Before we keep going, guys, 46 of you guys in here, if you haven't already, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. We feel like this is going to be a chiller kind of afternoon pause, so feel free to ask your questions. We're doing, some, we're doing this live play-by-play till the very end. We'll be here all day, baby. All right. Uh, uh, Alejandro Kirk behind the dish. Uh, Jackson Holiday to lead things off. Chris Bassett, first pitch. That one's going to be in there for a strike. Good first pitch there. From Chris Bassett. Yeah, Jackson Holiday, as we know, is the number one prospect in baseball this year. Of course, it would be the Baltimore Orioles. Three years in a row, they've had the number one prospect. That's why they're so dang good. That's the he went yeah, there. Yes, he did. Tried to hold back. That's oh, a, and two. That's a swing. 92 miles per hour right there for Chris Bassett. Not super fast when you're considering the rest of the league, but uh, with all of his other pitches that he has, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and two on Holiday. See if he changes up here. Probably will. Does go high, doesn't offer at it. Wonder if that's the location he wanted. He seems feels hesitant. like the he, he, uh, release point wasn't fully there on that one. I saw. Uh, was, we'll see how this bat turns out, but I'm getting flashbacks of Jackson Holiday at bat where he got straight fastballs upstairs and then hit a homer against the Blue Jays. One and two, going down. That one's going to be low. Good take from Holiday. Works himself back into the count. Two and two. Uh, Bam saying if Snell has another Cy Young year, he's opting oh, out. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I think realistically he doesn't even need a Cy Young year. He just needs a year where he doesn't walk as many people. And right. then uh, immediately he's going to get paid all the money. 2-2. Two, two. That's down low. 3-2. Full count now. Yeah, he needs a good year and a new agent. <laughs> the right. People are, are kind of joking like, yo, Scott Boris about to lose so many clients this season. Especially when you consider like there were bigger offers for Snell too. Or just like Chapman earlier in this offseason. Yeah. Did not take him. Yeah, because it was like a 182 for Snell at yeah. one point from the Yankees. From the Yankees. That one's up the middle. Going to be right to bow. An out. Oh, wow, wow. He's fast. What? 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 Were we off the bag? What Dude. were we doing? No, no, no. I think the umpire messed up. I think the umpire messed up. I did see like Justin Turner take he a bit of a leap. Or he reacted. No, he didn't call him off the bag. He was calling him safe. Just beat the, beat the throw. That, that's horrible. We got to watch this replay. Wow. What the hell? Threw it. Yeah, yeah, he's after the fact. He gets off the bag. That's kind of crazy. I gotta see this slow. They're probably not gonna dwell on this too much. No, they're not. But he, he was out. That's gotta be out, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, what? Wow. Okay, well, horrible start to this game. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's All right, well, uh, Jackson Holiday gets on somehow. That would be a challenge, and that would be overturned, man. That's that's crazy. All right, one and zero to Adley Rutschman. All right, Chris Bassett, not your fault, buddy. Fires. That one is going to be in there for a strike. Okay, one good, and one. Good, good, good. Yeah, if that wasn't a strike. <laughs> that was was right. Right. Umpires are already on the hallucinogens. Adley Rutschman, he does he look a little like just bigger to you this this year? I feel like he's like filling out a bit. 
Yeah, you, you'd hope he would coming into spring training. Yeah, one and one. That's fouled away, big Adley Rutschman hack. Yeah, like he looks just overall bigger to me than he did last year. Getting older, I guess yeah, that's a factor. 26, I think he is right now. One and two on him. He's, he's beating up the Jays quite a lot. Oh, Adley Rutschman really changed this team, man. Yes, really he did. changed it. Yes, he did. He's their franchise player. Cornerstone guy. One and two right now. Bassett fires. That one is outside. Two and two. 49 people watching. If you guys haven't already done so, please hit the like button on the stream, everybody. <laughs> Who's the first base ump? Angel? <laughs> If it Could was, it, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be shocked, <laughs> folks. Wouldn't be shocked. Two and two right now on Rutschman. Bassett at 10 pitches. Deals. That one is going to be a <laughs> sweeping curve right there. Yeah, 67 miles per hour on that curveball. Kind of messed up the timing of Rutschman. Couldn't square it up. Yeah. 11 pitches already for Chris Bassett. Just two batters in. I wonder how many stolen bags Holiday will get this season. That's fouled away with a big hack from Rutschman. Yeah, we're talking about, uh, like, obviously it's fantasy baseball season, everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, Jackson Holiday is kind of an interesting shout. Dude, that was like me last year when I picked Gunnar Anderson. He started off slow, but you got to be patient with these rookies. They're going to yeah. they gotta cook. Yeah, exactly. they got to cook for a bit. You, you do anticipate that at some point or another, like, it's going to go... It's going to go nuclear for mm -hmm. him. Two and two fires. That one is going to be Ooh. all three. It was close. Full count right now on Adley Rutschman. Honestly, for your team and your capacity, Jackson Holiday could be an interesting shout. Dude, absolutely. If, he, if he's available for me. I mean, that's what I did last year with the same kind of draft strategy. Yeah, take, I a, like, take a couple high upside guys. I have, like, no top five picks, guys. Oh, that's down in the dirt. That's ball four. That is ball four. And that's going to be two runners on. First one wasn't your fault. Second one was there, buddy. I got, I got none of my first five rounds, and so I'm going to be taking value late, late in the round. Yep, yeah, but you do get to, to fire those bullets on guys that you're not quite sure about, you know? Yeah, and then drop guys if they're not performing and pick up guys who are. I think mm -hmm. that's what happened to me with Gunnar Henderson. He wasn't performing like the first like three months, and I was like, all right, well, I, I lost patience, kid. Sorry. Like someone picked up someone else. Yeah. I got picked up uh, Ellie De La Cruz. Well, yeah. not a horrible yeah. stop then. There you go. Westberg now up to the dish for the Ooh. Baltimore Orioles. That one is uh, just fouled off. Oh, kind of a check swing that goes foul. 0-1. Oh, 60 people in here, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to Blue Jays today. We're trying to get to 23.5K subscribers on this YouTube channel. But, I mean, our goal is to get to 20, uh, 24 before opening day. That's going to be pretty tough. We've got to get a surge of people in here. Excited for the baseball season. That's fouled away, 0-2. Here we go. Now put him away, Bassett. Don't. You're 16 pitches in. This is where you'd want to see Bassett just continue to attack. Don't really dance around the zone. Maybe induce a ground ball double play at best or get the strikeout here. 0-2. Bassett looks back, Holiday. He deals. And he does attack him. Popped up. And that's going to be an easy play. For Mr. George Springer. Yeah, there you go. Jackson Holiday going to challenge. He, he is not. He's not going to. Interesting. I thought he might because he's just looks so goddamn yeah. fast. But you know, you got it was like middle shallow, middle shallow, and he had lots of time to kind of get behind that one, George Springer. All right, one gone there, everybody. Okay. Runner on first. Runner on second. It's seventeen pitches in. We get our first out. Yeah, this could be a long one, folks. This could be a long one. <laughs> 72 people watching, everybody. Right now, runner on first, runner on second. No outs. Score still nothing, nothing. Colton Kowser, AAA last year. Very, very good. Wow. That's actually surprisingly good, is this? He doesn't look like a no. prospect. He looks like an older guy, but I guess just an all-star minor leaguer down yeah. there. That's Whoa. ripped foul, hanging curve. Wasn't able to get all of it. Get it, Turner. Turner playing first base, by the way, everybody. Just something to note that uh, he's getting reps out there regularly. I wish we could have got an Adley Rutschman and an Anthony Santander. We did. <laughs> Over shit and Vladimir Graham Jr. Yeah. <laughs> they're, just, <laughs> they're just a bit different in their own right. Yeah, we need more, though. <laughs> we need more. Oh, and one. Fires. Ooh. That is swung on and missed. Good, Good pitch. pitch there. 
by Chris Bassett. And they got they got their Gunnar Henderson, their Adley Rutschman, their Jackson Holiday, their Santander. Yeah, before all that, it was Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. Who people forget about. Oh, still yeah. a quality player, you yeah. know. Still a quality player, that guy. They got their Grayson Rodriguez. Yep. And they got more too. Yeah. Because they have a bunch of guys, um, you know, who are around the. Ricky Tiedemann level yes. of prospect. Yes. That's a you big know? swing and a miss up and in fastball. Two gone, that Chris is, Bassett. There you go, Chris Bassett. Um, isn't that wild? Like, yep. we're coveting this number one guy. It's like, Ricky Tiedemann's going to be a star. Yeah. He's going to be incredible. They got, like, five of those guys. Yeah, and they're like, oh, if one, one probably won't hit. Probably multiple won't hit, but that's okay, too, Will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all that matters, yeah. you know? It doesn't matter. We're like, yeah, like, there could be reality. Not throwing shade on Ricky. I think he's got the ability, of course, but there could be reality where he doesn't hit. Totally, of course. That, that you know, could we be have our Nate Pearson. He was a number eight prospect at one point yeah. in all of MLB. All right, Nevin now. Two on, two out. Bassett trying to get out of this jam. That's got to be in there for a strike, that and it is. in there for a strike. 0 and 1 right now on Nevin. Bassett at 21 pitches. Yeah, we did get an update. Romano dealing with a sore elbow. You got as well Eric Swanson dealing with a little bit of a minor injury. Not the best uh, news to hear with your top two guys in your bullpen. That was oh, ripped. That was great. a hanger. That was and a hanger. And he just waited on yeah. that one to get in there and then took it for a ride. Holiday is going to score. First and, and third. First and third, yeah. First yep. and third. One to nothing Baltimore over Toronto. Yep. I mean, he was throwing that hanging curveball, but that's what good hitters do. If they recognize it out of the hand, and he's it's been throwing a few up, of those, yeah. Boom. bang. That's what happens, guys, when you're up in the 20-pitch count, and you've seen that a couple times, being on deck and uh, witnessing it. People are talking in the dugout. It's like, hey, keep an eye. If that ball is high, stay back. And he stayed back, and he ripped a RBI single until that field. All right, one and nothing. Orioles over the Jays, I feel like this is going to be one hell of a rivalry this year. Oh, yeah. I'm honestly, maybe I'm most excited for the Baltimore Orioles series. Is. Oh, series? Is? Series? Series, yeah. Check swing there. It's a strike 0 1. It's going to be a scary one, I will be honest. Every time we're live for a Baltimore Orioles game, I will be nervous. There's no doubt about it. So scary. We need to put up offensive numbers like they did last year to be competitive. Because they will hit our pitching. They, they've literally hit our pitching last year. They. We'll hit our pitching again this year. Yeah. We got to hit their pitching. It's as simple as that. We didn't yeah. hit it last year. Yeah, 100%. One and one right now on Stowers. Bassett, 24 pitches. <sighs> wow, I'm already starting to feel nervous, bro. Because I, I was earlier in spring, obviously it means nothing, and obviously this means nothing, but like we're, we're getting closer and closer. And I'm still seeing them beat up our best pitchers. And it's like, you got guys like, Dowers, you know, in the lineup. Mm -hmm. And they're still doing it. Two and one on Stowers. That's outside three and one. And he's at 26 pitches. Mm. <laughs> but it's okay. We got we to gotta have a big bottom of the first. Huge bottom of the first against, I think it's Cole Irving going to be pitching. We, we can do it. He That's that got to be. One is, should be an out. Let's go. Yeah, Don Varsho is underneath it, everybody. All right, we give up one in the first there, folks. No Not problem. Not terrible, though, considering the way the inning started. No problem at all. Toronto Blue Jays bats coming up next. I know I said I was nervous, but now I'm burying those feelings, and I'm exuding confidence now. Absolutely. I feel nothing but confidence. Oh, wow, it is snowing. Outside. I oh, noticed wow. that, too, actually. Shout out to whoever's in Toronto right now. It's, it's snowing. It was... It was summer weather, late spring, early summer weather last week. And now it's winter again. That's Canada for you. Did we ever have Marcus Simeon? Yes, we did, Jeremiah. We did have Of course Marcus we had Marcus Simeon. Simeon, yeah. In 2021. We had Marcus Simeon and Marcus Simeon's best season. Yeah. Literally 48 his career. homers. Or no, I was 45. 45, excuse me. 45, 45 homers, but uh, but very high, 800 OPS. Uh, just incredible production across the board. He was damn good at baseball. Yes, he was. Taves saying, I'm going to Florida soon. Can't wait. I wish, Taves, I wish. Yeah, that was such a weird year, too, eh? Like, where did that come from? Like, I know that yeah. he's shown that he's 
capable in years past. Yeah. But then he was also coming off of like one or two years that were like really not very good at all. And then he just erupted. He popped off. He wanted to get paid, I guess. I, I mean, money motivates people. All right, starting lineup. We said it in the pregame show. But most notable, you got a Vladdy and Bobichet little switch at the 2-3 spot. But everybody else, if you watched our Blue Jays Today show last night, this is exactly what we predicted besides that one little switch. This will probably be, depending on matchup, the opening day lineup. All right. And yes, Cole Irvin is going to be the guy leading off for the Blue Jays. Or leading off, uh, starting the game, excuse me, Jesus, for the Baltimore Orioles. All right. John Springer. John Springer. Yeah, he's been having a good week. Eh? Yes, he is. Deals. That one is in there for a strike. Funny because, uh, like, obviously he's having a good week because his slugging there, I didn't even read that it said slugging. Yeah. So I was like, 714. I thought it was like OPS. Yeah, I was like, that's kind of like his OPS, but I thought he was doing better than that. No, that's a that's slugging. That's a slugging. Yeah. <laughs> he's been mashing the cover. Off of the baseball. He's got a 1 1 count right now. Give me a middle to high 700 OPS, George, and all is good. That's in the dirt. 2 and 1. If you can give me any more than that, give me an 800. My God. Did not expect that. Well, I would like that. I just because of, again, because of the contract. Like, yeah. We can't forget that, you know, it does get paid a lot of money. For sure. Ground ball right side. That's going to be a base hit. That is going to be a base knock. There he goes. He, when you're hot, you're hot, man. And this guy is hot. Yeah. See, I always, see. I think I'm comfortable with it because I always knew in the second half of his contract it would start to regress. Like I was, I told myself that with the age. So like, if his regression was high 700s, I was kind of accepting that. Yeah, I get that. I do understand that for sure. But I, I guess I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not necessarily satisfied with how the first half of his contract yeah, has been. Yeah, with you know? injury and last year. That's the thing, right? I mean, like his. Uh, I'll play the graphic. Here, one, one real quick thing here, guys. That one misses away to our father, Vladdy Donnan. Guerrero, right now, up to the dish. He's doing very well this spring. 704 slugging for him, so not bad. <laughs> uh, 100 on Vlad. To finish that thought on, on Springer, right? I mean, obviously, the, the first year that he had with us, phenomenal production. Um, great hack. <laughs> Swinging for the moon right there. <laughs> uh, phenomenal production, but was only on the field like half the season. Then the next year, was on the field for a majority of the season, but not nearly as good production. And then there was last year, so. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked a bit more, you know? I agree, I agree. Good layoff there by Vladi. Very similar location as that last one. Um, no, I agree with you. I agree with you on that, on that sense. Uh, Vladdy, one thing I want to see from him is, like, I love seeing those hacks, but, like, we don't need to really swing that hard, my guy. <laughs> You're Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You, you have all the power in the world. If you, like, just give, you did 70% of that, I bet that could have been a hit. That could have been a homer. Could have been something. You would have put it in play. Three and one right now. Even after that massive hack, he's worked himself yeah. into a favorable count. So, even here, even though you got a... Good count, and he yep. works a walk. Good job, good job. There you go. Gets himself on base, everybody, and this is the uh, effectively the exact beginning yeah. to the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, yeah, literally. Thing. You got Bobo. Let's go, Bobo. Last minute change in the lineup, folks. Had Bo Bichette go third and Vladdy go two rather than the uh, the usual alternative. So, I don't know. Maybe something that you could see in the regular season. This is something that they experimented with yeah. last year a decent amount as well. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked. If Vladdy's getting on base at a high clip and Bo's just hitting, you, you want a guy who can hit with an scoring position. Not a guy necessarily who can walk, but a guy who can hit. Totally. Makes sense. Bo Bichette hits us to right and field. Foul ball. That, go foul. Or go fair. Foul. Oh, just foul. Just oh, my foul. God. That, that, that was hooking over the fence. Yeah, like the, the angle's a bit deceiving there. I thought maybe it, it somehow squeaked behind it, but... And that's a classic Boba Shed hack right there. Power to the right field, and he... Yeah, had a chance. Just hooking foul. Yeah, just foul. Probably like six, six five feet away. Right in that pole. All right, 0-1 on him. Yes, throw the bombs in. Katie Flower Smith has the right idea. Bombs in the chat for whenever we have Bobo up to the plate. We're going to have some merchandise as well. Coming out for Bobo. Yes. 
Owen one right now on Bobachet, bottom of the first. Oh, hacks wow, again. We hacking it. Now 0-2, Bichette likes to cut down the swing, put the ball in play. One of my favorite things about Bo Bichette. I love when we watch these first, when we first watch these Blue Jays, these baby Blue Jays come up, trying to figure out what kind of player they were. You know what, what kind of player Bo Bichette is. Hacks, hacks, hacks until two strikes. Then, he, then he'll put the barrel on it. And right there, that was a good job of putting the barrel on it. That was an inside breaking ball, which he fouled away to the right side of the diamond. I don't know how. He does it. Amazing. That's right, guys. Sam with the bomb. Balls with the bomb. Jeremiah with the bombs. 0-2. Bichette fouls it away again. Fighting right now. Bang. Yeah, gets rid of the leg kick, does the toe tap. Very consistent approach from Bo Bichette. 0-2. Way high, way high. A ball gets away. Runners are trying to advance. And, and George uh, is going to get thrown wow. out trying to go to third. Wow. Oh, George. Oh, wow. George. We, what, did we hesitate there, man? It's that's Adley Rutschman. Em, that's embarrassing. Oh, George. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, everybody. That's one thing we can't be doing this year, guys, is outs on the base paths. Oh, he was oh, safe. Oh, my God. Safe. These umpires need to... Wow. He was wow. safe. Wow. He was safe. He was safe, bro. Well, okay, I don't. Okay, I take it all back, George. Not your fault. You were safe. Wow. That's another review play that we'd win. That's two this game. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Bobachet, one and two. Bobachet pops it up, looking like it's going out of play, and it is. Still stays alive. Wow. I mean, he was safe there, guys. Yeah, and again, I will say that we do still got to be better on the base pads, but that was, you were safe. All right, so, take it back, George. All right, one and two right now on Bobo. I wonder if you'll look at the iPad and be like, yeah. yeah I wonder if these umpires have uh, Baltimore Orioles money line today. Yeah, right? Bobochet fouls that one away. Wow, this is a battle right now from Bobochet. Uh, umpires are screwing the Jays. Even in spring training, screwing the Jays. Still one and two, man. This guy, it's only taking one ball. That's the second ball. Two and two. Bo Bichette, quality at bat. Hey, David coming out here and, and vouching for George Springer being safe. He's saying... Orioles fan tuning in, and he was absolutely safe. Thank you. Yeah. And also Jackson Holiday. What do you think about that, David? <laughs> <laughs> you think he was safe? I thought he was way out. Yeah, I thought it was out too. We didn't get actually a great a reviewable angle on that one, uh, so it's tough to say for sure. Oh, but chopper up the middle. Going to be a double, double play. play. My wow. God. We started off with a great chance to score runs, and we did with a George Springer throwing out a double play. But we classic uh, Toronto Blue Jays baseball. Right that there. is classic right there. Yeah. They get two runners on, no outs, and come up with nothing. And it, it also shout out to David who just subscribed. Your name came up on the board there. W is in the chat for David. Welcome in, man. I was just saying, I don't know if you were here from the beginning, but I was just saying I am the most excited to watch the series against you folks in 2024. You guys kicked mm -hmm. our you guys kicked our ass last year in 2023. There's gotta be a different story. There's gotta yeah. be a different story. Yeah. Uh, you know what? If we can go 500 against you guys, I'm happy. I'm so happy. We went 3 and 10 against you guys. I would love to be 500. What the hell is going on here? Oh my. Is this going to. Dude, the we, commercials we, these days are nuts. We got this guy looking through his camera roll with all the photos of people, like very good photos, all lip syncing. Lots of storage of lots of photos. Relax. It's iPhone 15. But why are they singing? I uh, couldn't tell you. <laughs> why are got, they singing? Got your attention, though. It did. Isn't it? It did. All right, everybody. We're heading into the top of the second. Baltimore Orioles up one to nothing right now. Chris Bassett threw 21 or 22 pitches. or I can see even more than that. More than that, eh? Yeah. In, the, uh, in the top of the first. 
Oh, what is this? Yeah, what oh, is, is this? Is Isaiah Connor Fluffa doing good stuff? This is yeah. IKF performing right now. Oh, wow. Whoa. We are defensively making plays. Show his offensive s highlights. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> real, for real. Oh, wait. Why'd they show that one? I mean, that wasn't him making the not the catch at the end, but still, it was yeah. like finding a good double play. Yeah, they were literally just they they went baseball savant, they went double play, and then they picked the first five. Yeah, and then it was like <laughs> against the Blue Jays, yeah. all of them were against the yeah, Jays. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, see how good he messed us up last year? He's worth seven and a half million dollars. Or not even last year. That was like back that was in like, like his 2017. Whole career, dude, his yeah, whole career. <laughs> where are the last five years? All right, Kobe Mayo right now, double A, triple A numbers, very good last year. Uh, that one away. He's another prospect. A little deeper prospect. Still deeper in terms of like their wow. overall rankings. That's the thing. Still dude. good in the top 100. <laughs> Mar uh, the uh, Baltimore Orioles uh, have a prospect pool that is as deep as the Marianas fucking trench. Yeah. It is crazy how good these guys are uh, in the depths of their system. One and two right now. That one goes in there for a strike. David talking about the Orioles. We're now our Oriole fan in here in the chat. Saying they got very interesting pitching decisions to make. But you guys got some good good prospects coming up, man. And, and they did well last year in your rotation. So I think you're at a good place right now. I got a question. Oh, that's oh, strike three, Chris there Bassett. Go. Goes down looking. I don't think Mayo was too happy about it. That is like the first call that's gone the Blue Jays' way so far this game. Anyways. Yeah. I want to ask you a question, David. Do you think you guys are going to make a trade at the deadline? Because you guys haven't really been known for making a lot of trade deadline trades. You did trade for Corbin Burns. Is this, is this the start of the new wave with your ownership or what? All right. Kierstead. Kierstead takes that for a ball. Three oh three last year. Dude, all these minor <laughs> leaguers for them, it's just like... Minimum 300 batting average, minimum 500 slugging. Oh, Where do they hack. keep coming from? Their machine. I want to know who, uh, obviously they've had a lot of good draft picks over the years, but I want to know who develops these players in their system. Carl Anthony is saying that uh, Baltimore will still dominate the Blue Jays. They got Corbin Burns. I mean, dude, I've been on the train all offseason. I keep saying this every time. Uh, like, I, I just, I feel like they're going to win the division again because at the end of the day, I understand that New York got better. New York Yankees got better. Oh, that goes through the Here's, hole. Kierstad is going to be on with a one-out single. Yeah. Um, I'm, but, I, sorry. I'm flipping. I'm flipping my predict, project, yeah. uh, prediction now because now with um, the injuries over in New York, another few, in, another injury or two to, to, to some New York names and uh, some Yankee players that are pretty big. They're back to they're, 80 they're, wins. They're back to 80 wins. You know, yeah. and, and when you look over at these Baltimore Orioles, like, yeah, it's really tough to repeat a 100-win season. And I'm not necessarily banking that they're going to do that, but the team got better. They mm -hmm. undeniably got better, right? So if they're capable of doing what they did last year, I, I mean, they're at least capable of doing it again. And if not, like, their ceiling's even higher this next year. So... Yeah. I don't know. They're this, gonna be really good. They have the best farm system in baseball, so they can keep running out players. Keep pumping them out, man. Oh and two right now. That one's fouled off by Norby. Ninety one miles per hour there by Chris Bassett. One out, top of the second, runner on first. Baltimore's up by one. David had an interesting take saying that he hopes that they don't make a deadline trade. Really? I mean okay. you guys can. I hope they don't make a deadline trade though, because of the organizational depths gets thin after Norby. But we're excited about the new ownership. <laughs> well, hey, listen. Your depth is a luxury, my friend. I wish I could have your depth. Uh, I mean, go add some big names. Why not? It's time to go all in, right? It depends. I, it does depend how, uh, yeah, how they're looking. Because, I mean, there's a couple trains of thought, right? Uh, like, you know, realistically, if they're on track to win 100 games again, mm -hmm. do they need to? No, not really. It, it, unless there's like a clear hole or something. They don't, they're not saying that to go make a big splash, but go make an addition that will help your team. You know? I'm sure they'll do something. I'm do sure something. they'll do something. Yeah. One and two right now. On, On Norby. Norby. There you go. <laughs> On Norby. Bassett going to be throwing his 40th pitch right here. Jeez. Yeah, it's definitely racking up the pitch count. Would love to see a little double play action here. That'd mm -hmm. be nice. Deals. That oh my is god! Ugly swing wow. there, dude. He like stopped and then yeah, kept and going. Then kept going. He was like, "Oh my god!" I he just you knew he was beat. 
Wow, I gotta see this one again. I've never seen a swing like this. Uh, uh. Oh my, that was yeah. like a swing of two halves right yeah, there he, by he Norby. Was, he, he went through all of the decisions. He was like, swing, oh, no swing. Wow. You know? Wild. Wow. All right, two gone. That, Bassett can do that, man. He can, dude. Bassett can make people look silly sometimes. Holiday gets brushed off the plate right there. If you guys watched one of our shorts, we actually had one where we were talking about the top three highest strikeout totals um, you know, not without duplicates in the last 10 years, and he's number three. David's saying the that uh, the organizational depth is great, but the outfield is coming up on contract soon, and we have to take care of guys. We have in-house... We have in-house, I can, uh, we have in, in-house with extensions, particularly some arms. So you're saying spend some money on locking down Corbin some of your Burns. outfield, you know? Yeah, Cedric Mullins and Corbin Burns <laughs> and Anthony Santander. That makes sense to me. I get it. Foul ball, one and two. Ultimately, I mean, the Baltimore Orioles are playing a different game here, right? Like, for us, it's a sprint. For them, it's a marathon. Yeah, they're, they they they're could early. be good for ten years, you know. Yeah. Just if you play this smart and, and lay out the groundwork, you know, they could be, they could win the division the next, you know, like five out of ten years moving forward or something. So on, so on a flip note, let's go over to the Jays. You think if they're actually popping off? Because last few years going to deadline, we've been kind of a little bit above five hundred. We're in the mix, but we're not really, really competitive for the division. Do we go all in if the team pops off? For, yeah, for the division title. Oh, man, it's tough. It is a difficult decision. One and two, that one is going to be outside. Two and two. Um, well, okay, well, you're saying, are we leading the division at the time? Yeah, like if, this, we're, if we're excelling by the deadline, we're, we're fighting for the division right now, maybe with the Orioles, do we go out and make a splash considering it, they're in the marathon, we are in the sprint. we got to make some moves now. If we're excelling, um, if we're excelling... Oh, that's going to be an out. Uh, or unless, oh, they're ranging. Come on, get there, moving. get there, get there. And they knock out the play, run out of room. Um, <laughs> George doing George stuff. <laughs> I don't know, man, because, like, if they are really excelling, then, you know, the argument then becomes, well, wh why do you need to make a big trade? I feel like the Jays are never going to be quite, like, completely silent at trade deadline, right. regardless of the situation. I feel like we're, we're always going to... We're going to get somebody in some capacity. Yeah. But and I don't think that this is the year where we go and we make the big yeah. splash. Because also, who's left in our farm system to make a big splash? If we, exactly. trade, our, if we trade our guys, we literally have nobody. Two and two. Uh, realistically, I think that there's a bigger chance of us making a big splash in terms of selling than there is in terms of buying. And, uh, and that's just because I don't really see a reality where we go out and... I don't know, trade for Shane Bieber or trade, like, make the big, I don't even know who the big names are going to be this year. I don't know if we're, I don't see us doing that, but I could, I guess, see a pathway where, you know, if everything really does hit the fan, we sell. But, you know, I don't know, I, that, that, I think we're going to have a quiet trade deadline. That's a, yeah, probably. That's a ball four right there, too. Jackson Holiday gets on, he's two for two uh, and getting on base. So what, what, who would we sell? I know you talked about Justin Turner. Is, well, that, is that the big sell that you're talking about? I mean, yeah, Justin Turner's there. Uh, people will talk about Guerrero and Bo if we're really terrible. And, I mean, I think that, that, that this is going to be the first trade deadline where, again, if we are really terrible, like, that conversation, like, could actually start to happen. I still don't think it will. Yeah, but, like, I, I wouldn't, there'll, I be a, there'll be a talk about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, Kikuchi would be on the table if we suck. Yeah. Kikuchi would definitely be on the table if we suck. Yeah. Um, you know, there there would be there'd certainly be a lot of names there, but I just struggle to to see Jan Jansen could be on the Jansen, table for sure. Or, yeah, you know, um, Kiermaier definitely not, like a lot of there's there's definitely names that you know you're not thinking about like if we're truly terrible that could be there. Yeah, I just don't know if we're gonna see a reality where where we go and we and buy a bunch. Bassett and Bassett is could done. be done. I wonder if they're just taking them out for now and then bringing them back after. We'll see what they do here, but they are going to bring in a new pitcher into this ball game, everybody. Yeah, okay. I, think, I think he's going to come back. Yeah. Not the greatest start for Chris Bassett. He's only given up one, but uh, the pitch count is really, really up there. It is. It's almost at 50. He's three pitches uh, away from 50 in both innings now. We're, yeah. we're pitching, like, close to 25, so... Let's just not risk anything, especially considering what else is going on with this Blue Jays rotation. Take him out, let him let him uh, rest his arm a little, and then bring him back in the third. That's a wild uh, 
Baltimore Orioles game right there. This this isn't even their A lineup, and they're working Chris Bassett, man. Uh, David saying last year's playoffs showed it's about getting into the dance. If you have a firm grasp on a wild card spot, there's no reason to go crazy. You just seek to acquire additional bullpen depth. That's no, kind of right. what it's going to be. Yeah. And I feel like that's more along the lines of what the Toronto Blue Jays will do, right? Like, you, you have your foundation, and then, uh, you know, you make playoffs. When you make playoffs, anything can happen. Like, literally anything can happen, right? You roll the dice. The best teams will get knocked out, and, the you know, the Arizona Diamondbacks of the world will go all the way, right? Like, who predicted a Texas Rangers over Arizona World Series? Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Um, I, I could probably see, and this is early predictions, I could probably see, yeah, bullpen is an easy one. You're always going to need bullpen. I could see a, maybe a little bit of a thumper bad in the infield, like a third base, maybe. And that's, at this point, that's probably it. There might be shit that, excuse my language, that pops up later on, like, maybe we need a starting pitcher, or maybe we need another outfielder or whatever. Mm. But that's kind of looking like where we're heading right now. Yeah, like, like a great shout, I think, would be... Um... Oh wow, we were we were demolished yeah, last we year were. by the Baltimore Orioles. And Holy we crap. had their number every other we year. We did, we did, yeah. Except for 2022, they were they were fighting us. Yeah, they were started they started to fight us in 2022, yeah. and then in 2023 it was like, nah, this is us. So we were just shell shocked. Uh, but I could see like this is a name that just came to head in my mind right now. JD Davis just yeah. signed with the Oakland uh, yeah, Athletics. Perfect. If JD Davis comes out and puts up like an 815 OPS and yep. like like looks good, I can see that. then immediately boom, that's a guy that we yep. could go after. It's not going to be a crazy big splash. Yeah. But if he's having a good season, you're very happy with that acquisition. You don't need to give up the farm to get him and it's it makes sense, right? Yeah. Absolutely. 0 and 1 on Adley Rutschman, runners at first and second. We got uh Adrian Hernandez, I think he's a young, young guy in our in our farm system, just coming out to clean up this inning. It looks like one on one. If I'm Adley Rutschman. I am salivating, seeing this minor leaguer up. I want runs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was in there. Good. One and two gets ahead. That's a good little movement on that pitch. Here we go. Finish it off, Hernandez. Finish it off. That's fouled away. We also got the 69 likes. Finn calling it out. Hey, let's shout go. Out to Finn. Shout out to you. We're going to assume that you were number 69. Let's go. For those who are new here, whenever we have a number 69 like, we'll put your name on the board. Why not? W's in chat for Finn. One and two right now on Rutschman. Oh. That one is sky. Should be an out, though. George. And it is going to be. George Springer getting underneath it. Yes. Makes the catch. Good stuff. Gets out of that one, folks. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. Let's get the Blue, uh, the Blue Jays back up. 85 people in here right now. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button. Smash the, the subscribe button. We are nine days away. Nine days away from opening day. We're going to be going live on opening day. And the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that, we're going live for the entire Tampa Bay Rays series in the TROP. Uh, we'll be here. They'll be in the TROP. We'll be watching them from a distance. But join us, guys. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and join us back on March 28th at 4 o'clock. So we can watch together. Carl says, I think the Jays will eventually trade for another bullpen. Yeah, I think we may have already read that, but yeah. Just like they acquired Jordan Hicks. I can see that. Like another Hicks type. Why not? Bullpen is going to be crucial in the postseason. This thing, we've never had a chance to show how good our bullpen can be in a full, like, seven-game series. Mm -hmm. Like, we've barely had them come out and play. You know? I want to I I see our game over a full seven games. That's the one thing I kind of don't like about... The baseball playoffs is the first few rounds, and I get it. Like, you want to shorten it. You want to get to the really good teams. But the first few rounds, it's like, what was all that for? We could be eliminated in two games. And baseball is like a, a showing of strength of over a long, long period of time. But it's the way it is. Unless you shorten the season or, like, literally, I see, unless you shorten the season and add more playoff time, I don't see how they could change it. 
Because they're definitely not going to extend the postseason. My God, that would be that's just too much baseball. <laughs> that's too much, man. Yeah. I, I think they got a yeah, they got a. Um, I mean, I, I've always said that, that we should be lowering the regular season. Yeah, if we started now. in September and we oh. had. Hey, look at that! Hey, uh, Kevin uh, Barker. Kevin Barker out there <laughs> watching some spring training games. You love to see it, folks, from Blair and Barker. Shout, Shout out to them, fellow podcaster, right there on Sportsnet. Love it. All right. Justin, Justin Turner, Turner up oh. to the day. Dude, that's wild. We had two guys on. One got thrown out and, and then a double play. So we only had three batters come up last inning. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Felt like a lot longer than that. What are we doing here, guys? I want to see Justin Turner, baby. Turner steps into the box. Irvin, 18 pitches in the first for him. That one's in there for a strike. Oh, and one. Here's the 0 1. That's outside. Good eye by Turner. Turner, speaking of fantasy baseball, I was looking at him as a guy I'd want to draft. He right now is like projected to go in the 20th round. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, and Turner skies this one. It's going to go... Oh, no, it's going to stay in play. It might stay in play. We are ranging back, and no one could see that, I guess. No one really was able to see it. It was in play. Okay, one and two. Yeah, I would love Turner in my lineup. Yeah, he's going so late. I, I think you gotta because people yeah. are, people are sleeping on him a bit. Yeah, you know? especially because he will be batting in the middle of the order for yeah. the Toronto Blue Jays like the whole yeah. freaking time. Literally. Yeah, I want him. Here's some Justin Turner. All right, one and two on Turner. That's fouled away. Just threw his bat head out there, just trying to get a piece. Got 93 people in here right now watching this Blue Jays live reaction. Turner's up to the dish. Foul in a way like he does, man. This is what he does. He will foul, 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 work counts, work pitchers. We got to do that this year to get into some favorable counts and get some good pitches to mash. One and two right now on Justin Turner. Urban Fires. Does it again? Man, him, Bo, back to back would be actually a lot of work for these starting pitchers. Totally, man. They're just tough outs, right? Yeah. And, and that's, that's, what, we that's be. what you got to be. You got to be a tough out. You, <laughs> you cannot that. give anything away to these pitchers. You got to wear them down. Slowly wear them down. They're like going to get frustrated eventually. They're going to miss. I just, oh man, I love it. Like, this guy's 39 years old and, like, still looks like he, like he does when he, was with, excuse me, when he was with the Dodgers. Totally. Sports Critic coming here and saying, hey, Blue Jays today, how's it going? Pretty good. Hey, what's up, One man? to nothing right now. Baltimore over Toronto, bottom of the second, but Justin Turner putting up a bit of an A-B right here. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Battle away again, man. This guy's battling. Irvin started at 18 pitches. He's now at 27. This will be the 10th pitch of this at-bat. And Munawa Kawasaki saying, draft to Turner with my second last pick in my draft. That's right. That's a good way to do it. Give him two. Turner fouls it off again. This will be the 11th pitch of this at bat. Wow. My God. He's putting in work right now, dude. Irvin has got to be feeling it. Oh, yeah. Keep on putting the barrel on it, man. Wow. Two, two. And he takes That's it outside. three and two. <laughs> Get a walk, baby. You deserve it. Yeah, just spoil it. If you can get your bat to it around the edges. 3-2. And you know what? In a regular season game, I would say thank you very much, Justin Turner. 
Totally. That's eight, 12 pitches you just burnt no, in it, one out. Yeah, we can't possibly be upset about that at bat. That was just quality across the board. That's like asking two batters to give you both quality at bats at minimum. He mm -hmm. just did it in one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Thank you. Dalton Var Show now. The Var Show. Or the No Show. What's it going to be this year? That's in there for strike one up at the letters. Yes, uh, or see me. Oh, Burrios is the opening day starter. I like it. With the injury to Kevin Gosman, I was kind of feeling like he was going to be that. It was going to be that. It feels right, you know. It yeah. does feel right. Veteran guy get a re get a chance to redeem himself from 2022. One on one. That's inside. Doing one. Simplify it. We're talking about Dalton Varsho's approach. He has simplified it. Oh, and he throws his bat. Wow, where did it go? Mark Budzinski almost got railed. He's done that a couple times this spring. I'll be honest. I've seen him do it. Just throw it away. Like yeah, that. like his hands are so loose, he just chucks it. Edwin used to do that a ton, man. You know what? Whatever, bro. If you're getting hits, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be that. I tried to frame it there. A little bit too high. Three and two full count. Good take from Varsho. I have to watch some of your newest videos. Heck yes, or see me. Shout out. Thank you. Deals. Ball four. There you go. Wow. Gets himself a walk. And that's one thing Varshal's been doing a lot this spring. Not a lot of strikeouts at all, but a ton of walks. We got Alejandro Kirk, the captain. He's up. Nine walks. There you go. And how many? He's got three strikeouts. I'm going to make a little tweet on that. Want to know right now on Alejandro Kirk? Guy's batting 379 right now in 10 games. 10 games isn't insignificant, everybody. I mean, I know it's all small sample sizes, but like, hey, that's solid. Two and zero on the captain fires. That is going to be in there for a strike. Come on, captain, keep staying hot. Keep staying hot. Varsha Revenge Tour will be my World Series, yo, for real. <laughs> yeah, man, dude, it's going to be Ross Atkins World Series too. You just wait. This guy needs so badly for Dalton Varsha to be good at baseball. Three and one. Irvin at 40 pitches right now. Kirk works a walk. There we go, baby. Let's go. Oh, I love Alejandro, man. I love the captain so goddamn much, folks. <laughs> I, got, I can't wait to wear his jersey again this year. Oh, yeah. I feel like I couldn't wear it with too, too much pride last season, just based on how he was performing. Right. This year is going to be different, though. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Wow. All right, Kevin Kiermeyer now up to the dish. You love the Kirk intro, absolutely. The captain takes a ball right there, one and oh. We got two walks, back to back. Irvin getting gassed. He started at this inning at 18 pitches. He's now up to 42 with one out and two on. That one's chopped foul. My God, let's go Jays. We are working this guy. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, it's a good shout there, Brian. Uh, KK only hitting 214, but the OPS over 800. That's the power, baby. That's the power. Except this is an oh, this is gonna sneak through, throw a base hit. This could be a run too. That should Blue be Jays. a run. That should be a run. Don't yes. rush us quick, and he gets home. We're all tied up, folks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Out of boy, KK with the opposite field slap single. That's classic KK right there. As we're just talking about his power. 
Not a lot there, but that's all you need to find a hole and get a run home. Am I the only one that really misses Witt, says James, who was a great spark plug and had great ABs, played the game hard. You know what? He did play the game hard. I'll give you that. I'll give yeah. you that. I, I miss his numbers that he put up. I, I, I'm i not, not like a Witt hater or anything. I just felt like the chemistry wasn't really there with the team. Like didn't really feel like it meshed well. I'm not like... That worried. I just want the team to feel like a team, a unit. I don't feel that with him. Maybe with IKF though. IKF might feel like a, a really good mesh with the squad. Game's all tied up. And he, wow, he put a good hack of that one, fouled away. Tied up, one out, two runners on base, first and second. 0 oh 1 right now on IKF. Base running, I will miss. He did lead the team in stolen bases. That's going to be a big, big, painful blow. That one's fouled away, especially that we're trying to, like, run a bit more. You lost about, I think, a quarter of your stolen bases right there. Yes, oh, it's, yeah, it's not ideal, man. It's definitely not ideal. Especially for a team that didn't run that much to begin with. Yeah. 0-2 on IKF. Shocker. <laughs> 46 pitches for Urban right now. 1-1 one to one is the score. Deals. This one is going to be in there for a oh. strike. Goes down <laughs> looking. I saw you. Tyler Falefa. Oh, my God. I've seen this guy strike out looking. That's got to be like the fourth time this spring. It has happened quite a few times, man. It has happened quite a few times. <laughs> oh, wow. Two outs. And now we've got Kevin Bichio. Is an MVP Bichio? Oh, well, we're going to have a little pitching change here. Cole Irvin out of the game. He threw a ton of pitches, and it all started, mind you. Justin Turner at bat. That's true. That's right. IKF, the new whipping boy, question mark. Oh, <laughs> he is boy. the punching bag, I think, man. Let's face it, guys. He's going yeah. to be a little bit of the punching bag until proven otherwise. Right? Look, a lot of these guys have had to go through it. You say Kikuchi was the punching bag for a little bit there. I mean, even Jose Burrios had his brief time frame. Um, hell, if you guys were here for the Tanner Rourke days, he was a bit of a punching bag. Uh, Dalton Varsho had to take a lot of slack last year. I want IKF to shut us the hell up, dude. I, I seriously do. I want that contract to make sense. But for right now, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. And we're not the only ones who've said it. You know, a ton of Toronto Blue Jays uh, analysts and reporters and writers and fans and everybody are, are looking at that contract and going, why on earth are you getting paid this when other guys around the league are getting paid that? And it does make sense. So... Until he comes out and until he really shows up, sadly, he's going to have to take a little bit of shit. IK Figurin should be the bat boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I, dude, I, we are starting low on Isaiah kind of for left, everybody. It feels like the Blue Jays community is not on the IKF train just yet. I'm ready to hop on, folks. I am. I just need to see a little bit to get me going, you know? Uh. Hey, we got 102 people in here right now, guys. If you're just tuning in, Blue Jays are on the board. It's all tied up. Due to a Kevin Kiermaier oppo through the infield chopper. And that scored Dalton Varsho. We're getting a little pitching change here. Still the bottom of the second. And we're going to have MVP Bejo up to the dish. Oh, yeah. I'm all on board with the, uh, the Kevin Bejo MVP run. Here That's he is. The thing. Even Kevin Biggio has taken a little bit of the heat at points in his career, you know? Yeah. A lot of the heat, actually, right? Yeah. This is just IKF's turn. Yep. It's just IKF's turn. And then as soon as he proves us wrong, you'll get a graphic, IKF. That's and, how it works. And there's going to be a new guy who ends up coming in, and, yep. and he's going to have to take the hit, you know? Who's it going to be this year? Who's we'll it going to be? MVP Biggio Could took be a Manoa. Could be Manoa. Took the strike there. 0-1-1. Way you, high. Oh, you got to make it to the MLB, though, to get That's made, the thing. So. If, he, if he's chilling in AAA, we're not even going to be talking about <laughs> no, it. No, 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 no. That's the worst thing, dude. It's like, at the end of the day... Oh, speak of the devil. Speaking there, yeah. of Alec Manoa, they heard Blue Jays today. 
You know, you'd rather be a meme than not be here at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a like, great take by the MVP. I do wonder what the actual Kevin Biggio MVP odds are. You know? Dude, I wonder if there's even a line out there. Oh, there is. No, you'd have to, it'd have to be one of those offers on request. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. you have to go, you have to, like, get on the phone and talk to a bookie in yeah. Vegas and negotiate, you know? <laughs> like, I just want to put one dollar. That's yeah. all I'm saying. One dollar. Make me a million. Did his dad ever win? I thought so. Did his dad ever win MVP? I want to fact check that. Three and one right now on Kevin Biggio. Hey, you That's know what? For strike, and yeah. that wasn't you. You know, Kevin Bisho, that wasn't you. Now, this is where I want the approach to be different for Kevin Bisho this year. On two strikes, you will swing at that bitch. You have to. You have a great eye, but you got to know for sure. If Varsha doesn't improve this season, he will still be the punchy bag. Absolutely. There's Kevin Bisho walk. <laughs> Classic. Good old Kevin Bisho Classic. MVP. Good old Kevin. Going to the top of the order now, it's George Springer. Yeah, Varsha will... Uh, and Nick, he's such a nice guy, too, and I, I feel bad. They're all nice guys, what we're assuming. Dude, listen, that's, it's one thing to say that in spring training. It's another thing when we're down, yeah, by, we're down by one. <laughs> he, it's his fourth at bat. He's 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts yeah, yeah. today. He's, There's a he, runner in scoring position, and we need it. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's been 0 for, like, 25 the last week. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. He's striking out at, like, high pitches yeah. again. Like, yeah, I hear you. Oh, and one on uh, George Springer. He's trying to come through with some runners on the pond with two out. That one's up and in. One on one. I've had a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's what I've had a couple. <laughs> oh, I started getting frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so ready, man. Nine days away until I have a couple and I get frustrated. Oh, I think I'm going to have a couple more than a couple, actually. <laughs> I'm so excited. One on one. George! That one is. Face it! Face it! folks. This is going to be at least a run. Two runs. Two runs come in for the Toronto Blue Jays. George Springer stays hot. Oh, my God. Stays hot. Two for two already with two RBIs. This is what you like to see from the Jay of the Week right here. For those who don't know, on our Blue Jays Today show, we crowned him Jay of the Week because he had two homers, and he was popping off with a 1.5 OPS. Pretty dang elite. Now we got Vladdy Daddy, baby. Springer, let's go, baby. 3-1 Blue Jays. Take that, Baltimore. Take that. Come on, Daddy, let's go. Oh, Daddy, oh. He saw that hanger, but he wasn't looking it. Oh, he wishes he had that back. Two outs, 0-1 on Vladimir. Do it again. Throw that exact same pitch, Stroud. Oh, he, I think he almost tried to, but he went way too high there. 1-1. One -on -one. We've got 111 people in here already. Let's go. Only in the second. Guys, drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Blue Jays, staying hot. Staying hot. And it's all started, mind you, again, with a Turner. Long at bat. New pitcher, though. Way inside. Ooh, that looked like that was not a call. Vladdy is shaking his head. He's shaking his head. Umpire nodding his head. Vladimir shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a nodding and shaking battle. Between batter and umpire. Who will win? The One, ump. It's always going to be the ump. One and two. Way inside. Vladdy with a good take right there. A little. Sh it's on a soda shuffle. He does his own sort of shuffle there when he takes one. Borderline. Let's go, baby. Come on, Vladdy. I want you to do damage. I want you to do damage here. Ah, he swung and got fooled at an 85 on the corner. That was actually a good pitch, but uh, Vladdy is out there. But the Blue Jays score three here in the bottom of the second. And yes, Chris Bassett is going to be coming out for the third inning here. Good job, Blue Jays. Oh, George Springer turning it on. Alejandro Kirk doing well. Kevin Vigio taking walks. Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho Justin doing Turner, stuff. Like, Dude, wow. they're all doing it. Wow. Even this is what it feels like <laughs> to have a good offense, folks. I it's miss this. It's just spring tweening. It's just spring tweening. Yeah, and I know it is, but, like, fuck, let me have this. You yeah, know for real, mean? man. Like, let me just have it. Look, right? it, if half of them turn it off, 
We're still smoking we're people. We're still doing well, dude. We're <laughs> like, still doing well, even if half of them, you know, turn it off, right? It's like, this is what it felt like in 2021. Yes. This is what it felt like in yes. 2021. And I, I want to feel that feeling again. Because even when we were doing our best last year, it, it felt like it was just a crawling and crawling dude. and scratching and, and trying to just yeah. make it through, like just a grasping for air. A lot of one run, two run ball game victories that we've grinded. Like we got one big hit. And like the rest were like bloops and or like errors, and it's like, oh my god, thank you. I thank wanna you. fucking smack. <laughs> I want. Oh, I, hey, she reposted yeah. our Instagram yeah. story. I, I, shout I, I, out to her. Yeah, shout out to her if you guys are watching. That she's talking about the new chairs. <laughs> <laughs> it is looking sick. I actually can't wait to go to the ballpark. Like on TV and on screens, you're like, eh, what is this? But when you see it, you'll be like, oh wow, it's like all like a big circular dome yeah yeah for sure man it is exciting to see what they have in store no doubt about it i watched the 20 and 3 game highlights uh twice yesterday i think that's what you're saying yeah twice yesterday saying daryl d wow that's uh that's Wait. a great great 28 to 3 highlights. the ones uh, oh, boston. boston oh in 2022 i think it Dude. was bro that was what awesome. a what a game Hey guys, great to see you all. Hello, Rick Smith, our uh, YouTube member. Shout out to all of our YouTube members that are in the chat. Make yourself known, guys. Westberg takes a ball right yeah, there. Yeah, see, I, I first heard that. I heard 28 to 3, and I immediately thought, you watch the Patriots oh, Falcons yeah, uh, Patriots Super Bowl? Falcons, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1 0 right now on Jordan Westberg. 48 pitches for Bassett. Hasn't been super efficient today. Wow. 108 people watching right now, guys. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and mark it in your goddamn agenda that you're going to be right here on YouTube watching opening day on March 28th. Because that's where we're going to be. Not watching YouTube, making the YouTube, yeah. but, you know, like, we're going to be right here, folks. It is going to be an awesome time. Like we said before, we're going to pour a couple out for the boys. Absolutely. Obviously, yeah, we're going to pour a couple out. <laughs> we're probably going to pour more than a couple, especially that entire weekend. I intend to drink probably a, a irresponsible amount. Mm -hmm. uh, not mm -hmm. saying, you know, you guys drink responsibly. Nope, drink Just responsibly. watch us drink irresponsibly. Yep, but yep. it's going to be a great weekend. It's going to yeah. be a great time. Baseball's back, man. There's nothing better than seeing the numbers actually mean something. Mean a thing or two, yep. you know? Yep. I cannot wait to watch Alejandro Kirk have a 2 OPS after <sighs> the first weekend. Wow, we just missed that pitch there. I don't know where the hell he missed, but 3-2. and two, But yeah, I know what you mean. And then we're overreacting. And then, and then people say, it's only spring training. People say, it's only April. And then it's like... Dude, this is what <laughs> I mean, man. It's like all of these people, uh, all of these people, like, like, it's like you don't like fun. You know, you don't like fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Right? Well, Cause then we even, have some fun. even when you get to the end of the season and then, then it's like, oh, well, he only did that at home. Or, oh, well, he only did that against bad yeah, pitching. Yeah, now we're or, cherry picking now, now we're doing that. It's like, for crying out loud, like, can we just, like, enjoy the game yeah. and, like, <laughs> and, and have a little bit of some overreactions, please? Yeah. Hey, what's a scary thought, like, is when, uh, when April finished, Matt Chapman was, like, one of the best players in baseball. Offensively. Yeah. And then look how it happened. So I get it where people are coming from, but it's like, let's enjoy April, Matt Chapman. Yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> let's enjoy it. That was up the middle. Going to be a base hit for that Westbrook. Base Long at yeah. bat there. Owen, oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's call it, guys. All right. Well, Bassett, 55 pitches. He's getting worked. How can I become a member, says Finn? I think uh, if you go to our YouTube channel, you can see the membership tab and you can actually become a member right there. Uh, you'll see it. Check There's only like 59 likes so far. Oh, really? Somebody. Someone said 69. Wow. Somebody said 69, and uh, and we just took their word for it. Oh, <laughs> wow, Finn. Wow. We just took his word for it, man. Uh, top of the third, dude. I hate YouTube's new thing. Yeah, I, hate I know. Thing. Also, stolen base right there for the Baltimore Orioles. That's something that I I anticipate is going to be in their game this season a fair bit. Finn, you got us. You All right. Giannis. Well, listen, folks. Finn can own it until we get to actual sixty-nine. That's right. Take and Finn then down. whoever you know is sixty-nine is going to be. It's you know. Sorry, Finn. You're going to have to give it up, buddy. That's right. Unless, of course, somehow you manage to get that sixty-nine like, which would be crazy because I'm sure you've already liked the stream considering you've been here for a while. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you were saying uh, uh, get to sixty-nine. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Fair enough. 0-2 right now on Kowser. Bassett fires. That one is going to be swung on and missed. See you later. Good night. One gone. Love it. Love it. Get out of here.
Yeah, the dollar sign below is the chat to sub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you guys uh, you guys drop a donation, you'll end up on the wall of the MVPs right over here. We don't have any MVPs this game. We get it. It's spring training. We're not super hyped. But I can imagine there'll be a, quite a few MVPs coming for opening day. And we, we love and appreciate you guys for all your support, your subscriptions, your, your comments, your likes, and especially, too, the, the super chats, because that directly impacts us financially. So we obviously really appreciate all of y'all and the YouTube members as well. Same thing. Affects us financially. You guys are great. I will be here on opening day. I hope we sweep the Rays. Dude, we swept the Rays. Oh, that first Blue Jays Today show on Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna be confident. Oh god! I'm gonna it's be gonna soaked, be and I, and everyone's gonna be like, "Calm down, it's just one chewy." Oh, coming. I don't know, man. I don't I, care. After, dude, after a sweep, I don't know mm. if anyone's gonna be like, "Calm down." You know, I think realistically, if we did actually go into the trop and sweep the Tampa Bay Rays, oh yeah, we're at the top of the division. Mm. We're at the top of MLB power rankings. Mm. Uh, like everybody is like, is, be. you know, like the whole conversation is like. You know, how good can this team actually be now? <laughs> and the answer is really good. I think, uh, I don't know if we'll be at the top of the MLB power because they, they always go based off well, like, okay. uh, you know. So realistically, because we're starting, I think they have a starting in eighth right mm -hmm. now. I, I think it's, it's going like I think it's five eighth. Four, you know? I, we immediately jump up to the top five. Yeah, we better be over the Rays. <laughs> because right now we're one ahead of Tampa Bay Rays. Or we might be yeah. seven possible that we're seven uh. um i know for sure how it works i saw the graphic and it goes yankees blue jays tampa bay mm -hmm. that's how that's the order of it goes so mm -hmm. if we beat tampa bay four times in a row mm -hmm. i mean you gotta yeah. think that we're at least top four yeah. at least yeah. top four that's a swing and a miss two and two on nevin bassett getting worked 62 pitches here with one out one on uh jays get three out of four at the trop book it I, it's booked. It's <laughs> it's booked, man. Get ready. Yeah. Starts on March 28th. We'll do our Blue Jays Today show uh, prediction. A little pick off there for Bassett. He gets back safely. Uh, we'll do our little Blue Jays Today show um, prediction of the opening day series, and we'll give our yeah, we'll give our predictions. We'll say who's gonna do what. It'll be fun, guys. Subscribe, and you'll you'll get more content. That's how it works. Two two. Oh, and he's off. And he swings, and he foul it, and he did. The runner will have to get back. Oh, this is a long at bat. Yo, guys, sidebar right now. We're trying to convince somebody to join our fantasy league. And there's, like, three guys who I'm working to try to get it, and none of them want to budge. So now I'm pitching to them, and I'm like, how about you all manage one team? That's funny. You know? I think that'd be so cool, yeah, you know? Yeah. Nice you know, line. you can split the buy-in, so it's only like a couple, you know, yeah. it's not as much each. Yeah. You split the prize money. You guys have your own little group chat where you can yeah. talk about what you're going to do. Yeah, that's actually like, kind of funny. It's kind of fun, That you know? is kind of funny. <laughs> two and two right now on Nevin. Man, like, the team that they're taking, sidebar, is like really good. It's got Acuna, Freeman... And Pablo, Pablo Lopez. Lopez. Like, yeah. that's a great No, your, keeper your keepers are phenomenal. The one problem is they don't have a ton of draft picks. Chopper. Ah, it's going to go foul. No way. And it's It stays fair. fair? It's wow. Fair. I thought for well, sure that was going foul. Dude, you never know with those because of the spin. It might hit a rock. It could hit a lip. You never know. That's you never not, know. Yeah, that's just Oh, unlucky. why did I put that up? I thought it was an <laughs> That's unlucky, folks. So first and third, one out. And like, like, it, yeah, was, like look, it was going spinning. and then it spun its way back. Yep. It spun its way back. You just gotta wait. You know you can't make Damn. that play. Even going KK, and I'm assuming you're talking about his little RBI single back in the second. Pretty good. Unless he does something crazy right here, he catches a fly ball and like guns him out at home. Yeah, thanks, Rick Smith. <laughs> we we didn't actually mean for that to happen. It just kind of happened. In the dirt. Gets by Kirk. No. Oh, the runner at first did advance to second. Now we got runners in scoring position. Double play is out of order. Damn. Damn. 
One and oh. Now we need a strikeout from Chris Bassett. Oh, oh that's real deep. That is going to hang gonna, up, though. It's going to go to KK. Is this what you're talking about? There should be an out, oh. though. There's no way. Or yeah. not an out. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not an out. A yeah. run. A run, a run. Nevin goes to third. That is another run for the Baltimore Orioles. It is three to two. Okay, we're still Star leading. Blue Jays. Still leading yep, right yep. here, folks. Hey, look, this is the script of the Baltimore Oriole and Toronto Blue Jay matchup. It will be back and forth. Back and forth offense. We score, they score. They take the lead, we take the lead. That's exactly what it's gonna be. Oh, this is an ad for opening day. <laughs> I actually like this ad a lot. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> like nice. It's like showing an office how no one's at work right now. <laughs> I was See, I was thinking that it might be fun for us to, to put together some type of skit or something for yes. social media about uh, yeah, like either like trying to call on a sick to work or like I think that'd be great. excuses or something. I think shit, that would be great. Know? I was thinking about that the other day. You do that like this nice. Thursday or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm thinking more about what I want that to look like. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a pitching change right now? Uh, yes, we are going to change Chris Bassett out okay. and uh, get in a new pitcher. His day might be done. I think his pitch count is I think at there. that point, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go do a little mid-game Schmidt right now, folks, for oh. good luck, okay? There we I go. I was trying to save it until we got to the offense, but we're taking too long. Yeah, this game is taking quite a while. It's 2:17, and we're still in the top of the third with two outs. Woof. Yeah, woof is right, dude. you have your lab mic on? Yeah, I took it off. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Just in case. So we got these new lab mics, guys. So like last year, uh, you wouldn't be able to hear the Schmidt. But now we got to be a little cautious because if we go to the bathroom, you can hear some stuff. Oh, wow. Hey, shout out to Adam Edgar with the facts here. Orioles schedule is LA Angels three games, Kansas City three, Pittsburgh three, Boston three, Milwaukee three, Tins, Twins three, KC three, LA Angels three, an A's three. Then they'll play the Yankees. Yeah, so the Orioles, they're going to get off to quite a good start. Whoa, whoa, wait. We got the guy out? He was out at third? Okay, we are in the bottom of the third. I... Sorry, guys. They, don't, they, they cut away from it quick. We don't have, like, the audio really on that high. We didn't see the play at all. That's my apologies. That's my bad, guys. We're actually in the bottom third, and it's Boba shut up to the plate. Here we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. See, now, now everything's messed up. There we go. And Boba Shett gets a ground ball. Going to be great play by the second baseman. That's an out right there. Bobo gone. Jackson Holiday. Wow. Not bad, guys. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Good play by Jackson Holiday. He's playing second base, but he is a natural shortstop, so maybe that's something that they want to change. JT, Justin Turner takes a ball right there. Last two games, he says, we have the hardest schedule for two months. Yeah, we were looking at it in the podcast this morning. It is tough. It's not an easy one by any means. Uh, you got, you know, Astros, Yankees, Seattle, L.A. to begin the month of April. Pretty hard. One-on-one -on, -one on Turner. Down low. Turner had a great at-bat last time up. He had a 12-pitch ground out, which then turned into three runs scored by the Blue Jays, knocking out Irvin for a little bit. Brought him back because they want to get his work in, but knocked him out for that inning. And we, and we capitalized. Shout out to Roger Lambert. The best part of spring is being with Nick and Adam on Blue Jays today. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. But honestly, I love being with you guys, too. You guys make watching spring training fun, and that is ball four. You get a runner on. Good job, Justin Turner. <clears throat> Are you guys getting up for the 6 a.m. Korean baseball tomorrow? Uh, honestly, it's... Like, cool as that sounds, I'm, it's, we're having a long day of content creation tomorrow, and I want to be not super dead waking up tomorrow morning. So I'll, I'll catch the highlights 
I'll catch the highlights. Dalton Varsho takes the one there for a strike. Thought about it, but didn't go. All right, 0-1. I'm really rooting for Varsho to do stuff this year. And he fouls one away. Had a good hack. His, his swing looks completely different, man. It looks completely different. He's really opened up that front side. And he, I think he's sticking to the pull side. O2. That's got to be right there. Strike three. Dalton Barsho looks at one. And he's gone. Thank you for the shout there, uh, Justin Cooper. I appreciate that. I'm going to actually go in and make those changers. All right, Alejandro Kirk, baby, let's go. First pitch to Kirk is upstairs. That is going to be ball one. Two outs, one on. Oops. Two outs, one on for the Blue Jays. Wait, can I? I don't know how I can do it on my phone. That's in there for a strike. Uh... Kirk to the right side. That is going to be a base hit. This could be two. Oh, you're probably not going to score with Justin Turner, but he is going for it. Oh, my God. And he gets, and he's safe. And he's safe, Justin Turner. I don't know how the hell he managed to get all the way there, but he did, and it's 4-2. Toronto Blue Jays. Let's go. Alejandro Kirk with the RBI double. Atta boy, Kirk. Everything's working. Everything's working. Oh my god. God, I love it. I don't know. I thought he was out for sure. Dude, these ups suck. <laughs> I thought he was out for sure. <laughs> Do I hear the captain popping off right now? Yeah, Captain Casual RBI double right there. Kirk, man. Hey, shout out to Colton Weimer. Weimer. Looks like Kiermaier. Alejandro Kirk. <laughs> oh, and one. Kirk's at second base. I was the 69th like goes Justin Cooper. All right, you're up there, buddy. This is a grounder up the middle. KK is going to ground up, but that is going to be the end of the inning. Alejandro Kirk with the RBI double. God, you love to see it. I know Nick, Nick loves to see that. I love to see it. I love to see it, too. It's my favorite thing to see. Justin Cooper, you're number 69. Sorry, Finn. Oh, yes, Kirky, yes. <laughs> this doesn't take away from Kirk at all, but I swear, Justin Turner was thrown out at the plate. Like, the run, the throw beat him. He, the whole plate was covered in, the, in like, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> These umpires, bro. Whatever, man. All I know is that Captain Kirk right now is destroying the baseball. <laughs> And that's that's a, what I know. And that was an opposite field double. Just beautiful hitting. Back. I I hope that Kirk is in for a bounce, or like an all-star year again. Me too. Give me all-star Alejandro Kirk. Didn't Give you, me all-star. Did you predict it? Or was it, no, it was dirty hands that you No, predicted. okay, so I specifically, I kept, I kept it, uh, I, I didn't say dirty hands specifically. I said one of one the, the catchers, catchers. Okay. is going to be an all-star. Because I like the chance, I like the chances for both of them. Really, yeah. I like the chances for both of them. I mean, you got one Adley Rutschman, be... and then it's going to be one of them. Because you know that the votes are going to be pounding Adley Rutschman. Rutschman's going to be there, but there's also a lot of guys in the AL too. I mean, Texas has got some good catchers. Yeah, Houston Heim. has a really nice catcher that's y young Yarner over there. Diaz, yeah. uh, like there, there is absolutely other dudes out there that can rival them for that spot. I mean, they didn't get anywhere, uh, you know, last year. Salvador Perez, you know, that's a guy who could at any point, you know, come back in the form. So. Yeah. I'm saying none of them are going to be better than, than Alejandro Kirk. I love it. You also, yeah, Munora Kawasaki, that was literally where my thoughts went when Justin Turner was being waved. I'm like, the last thing I need is Turner to get hurt at home. You know, he's 39. Let's just, like, chill. Let's chill a little bit.
Yeah, this is the quote that I pulled. I, I was telling you about the other day that uh, Chris Bassett on the Chris Rose podcast saying like, yeah, you, you, MLB is kind of doing a bad thing where they're making everybody throw 97 and really all you got to do is throw 91. Well, here's the thing. All you have to do is throw 91, Chris Bassett. I don't know if everybody's got your capabilities, though, to do everything else. That's the thing. Yeah, you got to be able to locate and be a good pitcher, whereas like some guys, like we've seen with Nate Pearson, he can throw 97, but he's not a good pitcher. You know, no, he's got, no, this, he's got he's but they're, that's the thing. They're prioritizing the speed versus the command and the finesse. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's what's hot right now in the MLB. You know, you're going to get somebody, you're going to get someone who comes up and who pitches like Chris Bassett. Also, Chris Bassett is still in the game, by the Chris way. Chris Bassett is still in the game. You're going to get somebody who comes up and pitches like Chris Bassett, but he's going to do it for a two and a half year array. And then everyone's going to be like, oh shit. Right. And then I, uh, you know, we're we're gonna start we're gonna start uh, getting more guys like that in. Two and zero, oh, Chris Bassett on Kobe Mayo. That's in the dirt. Three and zero. Oh. Also, uh, Quitlin saying uh, this stream is making my workday go by fast. So much appreciated from the oh. West Coast. There you go, dude. That's what Thank it's you. all about. Three and zero oh right now on Mayo Bassett. Seventy pitches, getting up there in the pitch count, looking much more like a uh, mm-hmm. uh, regular season thing. I will be honest, not his best outing. Now, especially considering that the guy did need to get pulled in the, uh, in yeah. the second there. Um, yeah. Like, in regular season, if Chris Bassett goes five innings and gives up two against the Baltimore Orioles, I would consider that a win. I will take it. Yeah, I will against take the it. Orioles. Yeah, you know? I will take it. That's going to be one out right there, though, against uh, Mayo. Granted, the third baseman thrown over. Curse Justin that. Turner saying, I had a beat. I beat it. I beat it. He says, I was there. I, I saw it, and I gunned it. It's funny. You didn't see him riding the bases, though, but, like, he was literally just, like, jogging. <laughs> like, you, you know, he knows he can't get hurt in spring training. Top of the fourth right now. Fires on Kirstead. That one's going to drop in for a strike. And we're, let's have a quick three up, three down here, Chris Bess. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they let him go, like, 90 pitches here. That's going to be a we missed there. Okay. Chris Bassett probably gets one more start in spring training after this, uh, whether it be against opponents or a simulated thing. He'll get one more. That's outside two and one. I still can't find the YouTube membership for you guys. Um, yeah, check out the channel. I don't know if it's gonna be on this page right here. That's a base hit from Kerstad. I think I think it is though. Like I think all you gotta do is you just gotta click the. I flip back to us because I had to change the description. Right. Right. But I'm pretty sure that's there for everyone. Yeah. That's there for everybody. It's just next to oh, the yeah. com- it's just next to the comment section in the in the chat. Yeah, if you're on desktop. I don't know if you're on like a mobile device. If you're device. on your mobile, it could be different. Yeah. That I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about that on mobile. Top of the fourth right now, guys. Norby now up to the dish. David, our Baltimore Oriole uh, supporter, was talking about uh, Norby, saying he's part of the system. One me, of the deeper guys in there, but got potential for sure. Okay. Let me check on mobile and see if I can find it for you. If you are on mobile, on mobile, he says. Okay. Top of the fourth. Four to two is the score. Runner on first. Now we're getting somebody warmed up. Anders Tolhurst. Anders Tolhurst. That's what's going on for the Blue Jays bullpen right now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, in the live chat. So if you go to the live chat, which you are, because you're talking, click on the bottom right. Found cor- it. There okay. Go. Actually, yeah. I don't even have it. Wow. Where? Wow, I don't even have it. Are you? I'm on a different account. That's strange. Interesting. One on one right now on Norby. You subscribe? Yeah. Okay. Weird. 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 That just clips the zone. Good pitch there by Bassett. One and two. 80th pitch right here. Wouldn't be shocked to see at any given moment, folks, him leave the game. We're getting to that point. We are getting to that point here. Bassett deals. That's real. That's gone. Oh, no. See you later, ball. That's never coming back again. And the game is tied up Uh just like that. Did they have run around first? Yes, they did. They did? Two-run home run. And uh, that's going to be a 4-4 ball game. And probably, I'm going to take a guess here and say probably the end of Chris Bassett's outing, depending on how warm the guy is in the bullpen. 
We'll see what it's like. Well, I don't know what his like pitch limit is today. They might let him go and try to get his pitch limit. Oof. Yeah, that was just that he was all over it. Was demolished. Maybe 80 is the pitch limit here, and then get him going. Maybe his next outing they go to 90. No, he's still going. They're still letting him go. Ooh, Whoa. fouled off a of holiday. Uh, Kirk, excuse and me. And we are now back at the top of the lineup, everybody. 0 and 1 on Jackson Holiday. Dude, and Norby, according to David, is going to be their bottom. Bottom dude. This guy of, just like, took, the, the prospects, prospects and all that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and this guy just took Bassett deep. Totally, man. <laughs> yeah, it, I would be extremely excited if I'm a Baltimore Orioles fan just watching oh, everything about this team, dude. Everything about this team, I, I'll be honest, I'm jealous. I'm just jealous. This is the one where Kikuchi went yeah. multiple fastballs upstairs and he Boom. just ripped him. Just him deep. cranked. All right, come on, Bassett. Can you get out Jackson Holiday? We're looking at his uh, flashback here. Come on back. That's in the dirt. One on one. One and one on Holiday. This is a chopper. Come on, make the That's... play, Bassett. And he does. Oh, okay, there two go. gone. All right, Chris Bassett, his day is done after 83 pitches, folks. We're going to get a new pitcher coming here in the top of the fourth, but Chris Bassett didn't have the stuff, but uh, it's the Baltimore Orioles. They're going yeah. to do that to you. They're going to do that. Baltimore Orioles B lineup as Ugh, well, but uh, no, they didn't put it in work. <laughs> also, that's disgusting. Yeah, why outside. is it blizzarding outside? That's right like, a, honestly, kind of like a full blizzard right now. This has got to be winter's last push here, folks. God. I'm sick of it. I'm ready for the uh, the the shorts and T-shirt outside with the the drinks oh. and the and the sunglasses. It's gonna, and be, it's gonna be like negative, 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 negative for like the next five days. That's uh, that's rude, man. That's really what rude is going and unfortunate. On? That's just unfortunate. What is going on here, everybody? Yo, 110 people in this uh, live play-by-play. -play. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button and uh, smash the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 23.5k. If we get there, let us know, folks. We've been inching our, inching our way there. It'd be nice to get there soon. Yeah, next, on opening day, it will be 11 degrees. That's something better than this. 11 degrees is manageable, man. 11 degrees yep. is manageable, yep. but um, yeah, still yeah. not perfect. Tank for eight years, then you get the, then you get this. LOL, same thing Houston did. Well, that's exactly right. Like, Houston really sucked. Even Baltimore. What happens? Long game, too. We're about an hour and a half into the game, and we are still on the top of the fourth because we scored so many runs and worked so many counts. All right. Adley Rutschman to take on Tolhurst. He's a high A player, high A Vancouver. Anders Tolhurst with a 563 RA, just trying to finish off this last out here, but the last out's pretty hard. It's Adley Rutschman. That's outside. <clears throat> Tudo on Rutschman. Yeah, they, they didn't do it. Uh, in fact, Colin said word for word. Um, a, after further consideration, I would rather jump in front of a via rail train oh than join God. a league where I need to set my lineup 162 times in Dude, a season. Just auto set it, man. People don't understand the auto set feature. That's outside, and that's a four pitch walk to Rutschman. Told horse wanted nothing to do with him. Top of the fourth, 
Westberg here. Runner on first. Four steals. That's right there. Strike one. Via rail goes so slow. Good chance you live. Yeah, facts, dude. Peter, I, I took a via rail the other day. It took me four hours to get back home from London, which is a two and a half hour drive. <laughs> four hours. One and one right now on Westberg. Bullhurst, six pitches in. Fires. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> it's matchup like these where I'm like, dude, just pitch. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, this guy's going to pitch one out, one third of an inning, and then we'll get back to the action. Like, let's go. Yeah, and I mean, Tolhurst, too, you know, kind of okay, taking his go. time and whatever. There's a strike. Two and two. Come on. Okay, come on, Tolhurst. Get it done. Get it done. Oh, oh and we hit him. And you yep. nailed him. Yep. You nailed him. Did that go off of his bat, though? It might have gone. No, well, I think no, it maybe no, no. There we go. Some sort of elbow guard. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. He's heading over to first base. Thanks, Tolhurst. what you want to see. A walk and a hit batter here, and we're keeping this going for Kowser. Golden Kowser. Wow. They hit him right in the elbow. All right, well now, here we go. Colin Kowser, he's outside the dash. What's going on here, guys? Yeah, what's up with the snow in Toronto, says Carl Anthony. That's literally what we're saying here, bro. It's like, we were outside, and I was wearing like, I was actually, pro I was wearing an outfit just like this. And I was comfortable last week. And now, what is happening? Feels. That one's fouled off. 0 and 1. I gotta react to that. <laughs> Uh, all right, hold on. Come on. Come on, Paul Hurst. Ugh, missed. One and one. On Kowser. It's shaky cam. Whoa. Whoa. Paul Hurst, let's see. One and one count on Colton Kowser. Fouls on away. One and two. Here we go. This is our chance. <clears throat> this is our chance. If you guys checked out our TikTok, we were literally outside last week filming content in sweaters. In sweaters, it was awesome. One and two. That's a strikeout. Let's go, Tallhurst, baby. Fleet. Bottom the fourth or Tallhurst. Bottom the fourth. We go. We're gonna get some Blue Jays up. I want to see some boys. It's about time, dude. That felt like a long intermission. It um, did. It did. Between now and then. Yes, it did. I'm ready to see some offense, folks. Let's get somebody cooking. More Alejandro Kirk. More George Springer. That's what we need. Yeah. More boys going crazy. Yeah. Bam. Huh. All right, folks, we are heading into the, what is this, bottom of the four? Yeah. Bottom of the fourth, eh? Bottom of the fourth. Hour and a half in. Personally, guys, I, I like when spring training games are pretty quick. Personally, just me personally. But they don't always work out that way. Where are my Alberta boys at, saying Finn? Where are they? Who's from Alberta? Just help me know in the chat. Hmm.
Yeah, where are the Alberta lads? Okay. Al Aldery here? That sounds like Alberta. Eaton saying, my bad guys, I can't donate. All right, Eaton, you've donated so much, man. We appreciate it. No problem, bro. All right, we got Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the dish. One and oh. He's elite. Mm. Struck out looking his last, uh, his last time up. Winging there, though, one and one. Love the channel voices, Ryan CR. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate you, man. We hope to see you here on March 28th. That'll be dope. That would be dope. One on one right now on IK. Oh! This one is going to be hit into play, but straight to the shortstop. That's damn gobbled it. up. Damn and it. And it will be an out. Damn it. Damn it. Damn Seven and a half mil. Seven and a half. I was really hoping you would get that there. MVP Bishio, who's a lot cheaper, is up to the dish now. Does the same thing, but better. Where'd the cowboy go? That's a great question. I haven't seen console mm -hmm. cowboy yet today. Where the hell is he at? Fires on MVP mm -hmm. Biggio over his head. Had to duck <laughs> below that one. Had he not, that would have hit him straight in the noggin. Damn. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this is a lefty lefty matchup. Interesting little matchup. That one goes in there for a strike. One on one. 67 pitchers for Irvin. Was a bit more efficient than Chris Bassett was. Mm-hmm. Deals. Oh, fouled away. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm excited for next Thursday. Go, Jays, go. Yeah, it's funny how in January we're all, like, really in pain and we don't want to watch the season and we're not looking forward to it. And then March 19th comes and here we go. It gets closer and closer and before you know it, it's like, oh, shit. Maybe I do want to watch some maybe, baseball. Maybe they will be good. Yeah, you never know, right? Dude, if we zoom out and like, if they put up a good season, we'll look back and be like, what were we so worried about? Yeah, it's, it's always how it works. <laughs> it's how it right? works. It's always how it works. Hindsight 2020, and that was popped up and uh, fouled away by Kevin Biggio. We're like, yeah, I mean, like, they all just had bad years that one year. We still won 89 games. What are we worried about? That's the conversation if we pop off. Man, one of the best pitching rotations in baseball. Outside, good take there from Kevin Biggio, the MVP. Come on. Got it, Kevin. Good at bat there from the MVP. Works himself a walk. What? This is what he does, boys and girls. Not a boy. Top of the lineup, here we go. We got the boys. That's a big bird right there. Battle of birds. Whoa. That's a nice birdie. That nest. What a good spot to watch. That's a great nest. That's yeah. got to be the penthouse of birds. He's loving it up there. That's upstairs. Misses there to George Springer. It was two for two with two RBIs. You already know that guy's an elite. Oh, yeah. That guy plays for the Tampa Bay or the Dunedin Hawks. What to know right now on George Springer. Fires. That one is fouled off. Like we said, he's two for two. His batting average is up to 400 right now oh my God. in spring. My God. Pretty solid start for George Springer. I think he's got some, uh, some doubters to prove, man. Yep. Hopefully there's a little bit of juice left in this bat. One and one. Urban deals. That one is hit into play. Oh, oh I thought we were going to get a lucky bounce. We did not. It is going to be two. Oh. No reason to run it out there, yeah. folks. Three up. Or actually, no, because we did get a runner on first there. So not three up, three down, but I guess kind of. Essentially, okay. face the minimum. Yeah. yeah. I hear what you're saying. Well, we're going to the top of the fifth. Don't get anything there. George still having a good game, though. George still having a good game. Two for three. Got to start thinking about who could potentially be that. Be the game. Yeah. Kirk's up there. And George I'm is up the there. <laughs> the captain, we're going to see what he does in his next at-bat. Yeah, the captain right, does something good. Though. Yeah, because captain is one for a, one with a walk and an RBI. Yeah. George is two for three with two RBIs. Kirk's got the double down. 
Kirby's got two bases. Well, not the two RBIs is sticking out to me right there. That was a big clutch hit. All right, we'll see what if Captain comes up with another big hit. It goes away. Dude wasted like ninety million. Like George Springer. Like is that George? Hmm. I definitely doubt him without a doubt. Okay, I see there. I get it. I understand. All right. 105 people in here right now, guys. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button if you are new. We got a few new people in here. I love to see it as we're getting closer to opening day. If you are new, we're gonna be watching the game on opening day doing exactly what we're doing. You don't want to miss it. I'll have a little automatic scoreboard, hopefully. By that point, text to the guy. No Good. Response. Okay, well. He's, he told me a lot. I, he's like, I need this from you. I gave it to him. Response for like a week. Texted him again. We'll see. Got the Tory if you're listening. Mm -hmm. Probably not, though. <laughs> no, in fact, I guarantee not. No, I guarantee no. not. Jose Burgos, Gold Glove Bobblehead Giveaway, April 12th. Guy can play yep. some defense as a pitcher, you know, something that you like to see, underrated statistic. Yeah. Is that a hot dog that kid had that he cut in half? I didn't even see it. I don't know. Jimmy Garcia hey! having a pretty solid spring in his own right, folks. Seven innings, .71 whip given up right now. That's incredible. Opponent batting average, 120. People just are not doing anything against Jimmy Garcia to start things off. And that's going to be, oh, I thought that was going to be enough for a strike, but apparently not. Going to be ball one against Tyler Nevin. Tyler Nevin's two for two with two singles and an RBI. This is yep. grounded to Bo Bichette, and goodbye. Easy. Also, I see that Justin Turner is out of the game. Yeah, it looks, that to way. looks that way. Top of the fifth, one gone. Doers now up to the dish. Four to four working. is the score. That classic Blue Jays Baltimore game in 2024 here. Both sides had to lead at one point. It's tied coming into the fifth. Ooh, there we go. Clip the corner. Jimmy did. <clears throat> you can be the 69 like again, Finn. How could you possibly? Well, you could be on the next stream. Come back from the next stream, Finn. Or if we make it all the way to 169, That's which facts. I kind of doubt, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, We'd have to start oh. popping off a little bit on the stream. If you guys haven't good. already, hit that like button so Finn can be 169. Also, folks, it is That's actually gross. blizzarding outside right now. Like, that's kind of wild. How long is this going to last? That's kind of disgusting and wild. Am I have to... That ah, doesn't even detect it. No, there's only 67. How the hell did that happen? How could there be 67? You're lying. You gotta refresh your stream, maybe. Oh, uh, what? Wow. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, dude, we had 76 on our end and went down to 67. Dude, this YouTube, the YouTube interface is like messed up. Two and two right now on Stowers. Garcia deals, that one is in the dirt. Full count right now. Did we get 69? <laughs> <laughs> We've got 69 three times at this point. How did we get... How does oh, this happen? I can't even trust you guys anymore. Can't even trust the, the freaking <sighs> interface. No. That's a strikeout. Nice job there from Jimmy. Two gone. It says we have 106 people watching. I don't know if I believe it. Yeah. Do we have 106? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Jimmy Garcia gets that out, though, on the strikeout. Nice pitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mayo. Up to the dish. Swing and a miss. Good one by Garcia. Two outs pretty quickly for this guy. 0-1. We put Finn up for 69 as well. We could. You're up. Finn, I feel like you deserve it. You yeah. deserve it. Oh, big swing and a miss by Mayo there. Oh, and two. Upstairs fastball. Bam. Also, Browns and Jerry Judy agree on a three year contract extension. Wow. Well, good for them, I guess. There you go. Good for them. 
Pretty good. 0 oh, and 2 on Mayo. Swing <laughs> and a miss, and Jimmy Garcia's <laughs> torrid spring continues, everyone. Goodness gracious. This Goodness guy, gracious. This guy's having the upside of the Jimmy Garcia here right now. Bobbing off. Yeah, it is a roll the dice thing, dude. But again, like you can you can roll that dice and he can be incredible. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's looking pretty damn good. All right, guys, we're halfway through this ball game. Time to shout out one of the big sponsors of this channel and the stream. It is a Betway. Whoa, time for your daily Betway breather. A quick reminder that the best place to bet is on Betway. Must be 19 years of age or older to play in collaboration with iGaming Ontario. Please bet responsibly. Now, back to the content. Shout out to Betway, everybody, for being absolutely phenomenal. It is the place to go if you're interested at all in sports betting. Tons of lines are going to be at right now. About oh, yeah. Blue Jays, about baseball, but this season coming up, you want to bet on MVP, you want to bet Guerrero, you can absolutely go and you can do that. So go check it out, guys. Wonder, check it out. I wonder what Guerrero's line is. Probably really good. <laughs> Carl Anthony saying, I usually skip this part, lol. <laughs> uh, we see the dips and the retention. No, we, we, see know. It. we know. We know. We know. Well, we can do it full time now because of those great guys over at Betway. Exactly, so. exactly, man, exactly. I'll be honest. I mean, sometimes I skip some other in yeah. ads and videos. Yeah. It happens. But you know. now that I'm a creator, like I, I get it. Like I don't get mad because oh, I'm like, no, like they, that pays the bills. That's why they're able to do the videos. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. So, hundred percent, dude. And and honestly, I do love Betway. I think yeah. they're a, they're a great sponsor and a great, great place. Yeah, like, let me. Hmm. Let me try to find some MVP. American League MVP. Wow, Vladdy is one, two, three, four, five, also six, pause seven. Pause for one second. Look at that beach. Oh, you missed oh. it. It was white sand. Every like everyone's shirts off. Beautiful oh, beach. Wish. And then look at it outside. Yeah, this is gross. like what the hell, dude? This is terrible. This is terrible. So uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is ranked thirteenth favorite. Uh, to win the MVP, it's one to twenty-one odds, and then Bo Bichette is fifteenth at one to twenty-three. Adley Rutschman, right between the two. Okay. Well, here is Daddy. One and zero right now on Guerrero. Where's that, where's Biggio? Deals. Yeah, uh, that one's going to be hit into play, and it's oh! not going to be able to be fielded by the shortstop. That's an interesting one. I mean, realistically, probably should have had that, but it was a tough. Play nonetheless. Yeah. I kind of missed it looking for MVP. Biggio. So he hit it directly at him. He just like, how hard was that ball? That's what I don't know. Because that's kind of where they, they they might give him a hit if it's like hit so hard. It was just a bounce. Yeah. It was just a bounce. Like, really, that looks like a hit right there. It's like an in between hopper. You don't have time to get into a good fielding position. Yeah. So it's a hit. Well, there you go. Vladdy's on the board, folks. Is that his first or second hit of the day? I want to say second. Hey, Bo Bichette, Bobo. here we go, Bobo. That is his first hit. He got a walk, so he's one for two for the walk. Bo is 0 for 2, though. Not like Bo at all. 0 and 1. Fires. That's oh! a night! Oh, that's foul. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I wanted that to be annihilated so bad. He hooked the crap out of that. The camera was looking into, like, the neighborhood down the street. For that baseball. <laughs> I don't know if this is still the case, everybody, but as of yesterday, Bo Bichette was leading the league in hard-hit baseballs in all of MLB. That is one of those stats that you just love to see, right? You hit the ball hard, really, mm. like, just a lot. Well, you're going to end up with more oh. hits. He doesn't uh, go. Did he hold he does, up no, there? No, no, he, he found a way not to go. Why? Oh, he got struck out there? That's bull. Wow. That's wow. ball. Dude, he had such great back control. We gotta see that replay there. That's oh, ball. His body went, his bat did not. His bat did not, man. I wanna see that replay. I wanna see that replay too. And we got um, Spencer Horowitz, Spencer Horowitz yeah. coming in to play a little bit of baseball. They're not gonna show the replay. That yeah. sucks. Also, uh, funny line here I just found on Betway. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Gosman has an MVP line, one to 201 odds. It's the same odds as George Springer to get MVP. Well, I'd have to go with George Springer on that one, yeah. I think, you know. And pitchers rarely get MVPs. Just never oh my do. god, and this is gets by, uh, by the catcher and there goes the pinch runner. Don't know who that guy is. Also, yeah, like realistically, what type of season were we saying that Kevin Gosman would need to have to do that? It would have to be unreal, like 1.13 ERA. Yeah. You won 22 games. Yeah. 
you have like 280 60, strikeouts. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like just yeah. ungodly numbers. I just don't think that that Ooh. level of baseball is Horowitz possible anymore. He's going to fly out. He's going to be an out. Two outs. I, I kind of want to look at some futures from uh, Betway here while we're, while we're on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring up a couple notable lines, yeah. man. Bring up some notable lines. I mean, another notable guy, Chad Green, is uh, warming up in the pen right now. Two gone and runner on second for the Blue Jays. Dalton Varsho gets another at bat here. Bottom of the fifth, two outs, RBI potential here for Varsho. Get us a single and you'll score him. Kevin Gosselin, speaking of which, is the favorite one to seven to win the Cy Young in the American League right now with no Garrett Cole. I imagine. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, I think he did it. I way think he did gone. it. it is, uh, way annihilated. Gone. Annihilated. Dalton Varsho didn't just top wood. He launched a rocket out to right field, and that is gone. Blue Jays 6-4. to four. This is what's so exciting to me about this team right now. There was an RBI out there. There was a runner in scoring position. Last year, strikeout, pop-up, you're done. This year, yard. Yard. That, hey, man, I am never getting off the Dalton Varsho train until he sucks. Then I may hop off. But, wow, he is looking good, and the swing looks so much better. Dalton Varsho. Stay hot. He's one for one with two walks and two RBIs right there. We're yeah, older. yeah, he is. Jay of the game? Possible, man. It's, it's possible. possible. Wow, he smoked that pitch off the roof. Wow. Wow. Varsho bomb, baby. Varsho bomb. I'm on the Varsho train. Everyone get on the Varsho train. If Kirk, Kirk, you got to put up here, buddy. Wow. It, see, we got this from him in the five spot. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Wow. That's going to be a, excuse me, a strike. Alejandro Kirk, three and one. That's down the way, and there's a walk from Alejandro Kirk. He's on base two out of three times today. This, this lineup just keeps cooking. They just keep cooking. That's gonna be a strike to Kevin Kiermeyer. Wow. This is, a this is a classic Blue Jays Baltimore game for 2024, everybody. If this is the kind of games we're going to have between us with our full lineups, I mean, they don't have their full lineup in, but if this is the type of uh, games that we're going to see, I'm going to be very excited to watch. Wow, Dalton Marshall. Yeah, give me, like, literally all Marshall needs to do, I'm not expecting to be elite, give me a... Average to slightly above average bat, like a 105 OPS plus, and give me that elite defense. You are going to be a good player. Yeah. Ooh, way inside to Kiermeyer. That's going to be a no swing. One and two. Wow. Oh, there's going to be snow in Calgary tomorrow, too, Steven. Jeez, go away. Six to four Jays, guys. Runner on first, Dalton Varsho. I'm still reeling after that one. That's That was great. Just that a, was just, just great. Just a shot. Just a shot. Absolute shot down the right field line. Look, uh, two and two. And a strike out there from Kiermaier. That ends the inning, but not before. Dalton Varsho rips a missile. Down the right field line for a two-run homer. Puts the Jays out in front. And he knew it. And he knew it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> is, this, is this team for real? I really hope so, man. I really hope so. Yeah, what are we going to pick for Jay of the game? It feels like all the at-bats we're going to get from the guys. Uh, I like, I mean, at this point, I feel like it is going to be a bar show yeah. thing, you know, it's it just, it's tough to go against that, yeah. because what is he, he took two walks today? Two walks today, two RBIs, oh, I'm looking at the J, and two runs. 
And a strikeout? How the hell? Oh, no. No, he got one walk. He's one for two with a two RBI homer. One for two with a two walk. Two RBI homer. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you got to ask yourself, like, what game would you mm-hmm. rather have? A guy hit a two run bomb and a walk and a strikeout, mm-hmm. or a guy give you a single? Is it two singles from uh, uh, Springer? Yeah, two singles, two RBIs, no runs scored. Because also Varsha scored twice. Two runs, two RBIs, one homer, mm-hmm. and then Springer got two singles, two RBIs. I feel Close. like it's Varsho. Yeah, because they both got on same, got on base the same clip. Yeah. They both have, drove in two, but Varsho scored twice. Yeah. And I mean, the home run as well, like that's, yeah. you did it all of yourself. Yeah, yeah, you that's a big OPS uh, number right you there. Know? Um, I'm also not ruling out Alejandro Kirk, <laughs> depending on what it is that he does in his next one. If he's still in the game. If he's still in the game. Well, we're going to yeah. find out right now. You're still catching. You're and still he catching. is still catching. You got Hester Kierstad right now. He's two for two. Baltimore Orioles today would be looking at this guy potentially for their player of the game. People are saying Varsho right now. I am leaning Varsho too. Long right. bomb is pretty cool. Top of the six we go, everybody. Fires. That one is swung on and fouled back. 0-1. Varsho goes 30-30 this year. Dude, that'd be crazy. That, that's literally, uh, you're tossing your name in MVP conversations. Going 30 for 30. That is going to be a ball right there, one and one on Kerstad. Got Green to the game, everybody. Guy who's, I'm look, I have some expectations for him. We did sign him. We didn't really get to see too much of him doing well last year. And that's a liner right to the right fielder. George Springer's out of the game. We got a new guy in there. One gone. Hey, and our first super chat goes to Eat hey. MVP, baby. Hey, he found out how to donate, or, or remember Drower was capable of doing so. Yeah, he said earlier today that he couldn't, but there it is. There so thank go. you very much, dude. We appreciate you so much. Go Jays, uh, go. We're up right yep. now, six to four over the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore having a very good spring, eighteen and five. Am I reading that properly? That's uh, dumb. Yeah, yeah. That's dumb. Eighteen and five. Um, but we could go twelve and eleven. We could go twelve and eleven and beat an eighteen and five team. That's right. So that's the thing, right? 1-0 right now on Norby. Fires. This Ooh. one is going to be hitting the plate yep. of the third baseman, gobbled up by Kevin Biggio, and it is <laughs> sailed over to the four, uh, first baseman there, Spencer Horowitz. Two gone. Easy. Jackson Holiday up. MVP. Easy MVP. Yeah, Eaton hype. Shout out to Eaton. Love it. Yeah, Jackson Holiday getting his fourth AB right here. Wow. Okay. Really stretching him out. Well, they're going to give this, you know, he's a super young kid, mm-hmm. right? Like, you might as well. All the way. He's not like a Justin Turner where you want to put him on the bench like he's pretty healthy and young. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, if the kid can't do four at-bats now, then, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> 0-1 right now on Jackson Holiday. Fires. That one is... Ball one, one and one on holiday. Ian, if you did that, that's the real MVP move right there. Going across the street and grabbing a gift card to donate, just too elite. That's, that's actually elite. insane if that's the case, so thank you for doing <laughs> that. Thank you for doing that regardless. But uh, Vince saying, I want to see you guys play baseball. Well, we're starting to release some shorts. Uh, you'll see some of us doing some challenges, but actual baseball, I'll be probably maybe coming this, uh, this summer. We'll, we'll Potentially see. later down the line, folks, yeah. Be uh, certain on the Toronto Blue Jays pretty soon after they see those videos, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm busy arranging, but running out of room, that's a foul ball, two and two. Two and two right now. Do baseball vlogs. Yeah, that's kind of the the Mm -hmm. vibe that we're, we want to go down that route uh, later down the line, guys. I've never, I was never a baseball guy growing up at all. Barely a baseball guy now, but uh, I'm ready to learn. It's going to be fun, man. I miss it. That's one of the things I really do miss about my childhood. If there's one thing I could get back, it's playing baseball, man. Two and two. That's in the dirt. Three, two. Full count on Jackson Holiday. Carl Anthony saying, will you guys be streaming MLB The Show 24? Not on this channel, as that was oh, thrilled. that's annihilated. And, and that's gone. Jackson Holiday takes uh, takes uh, Chad Green deep. This guy is going to be in the show. 
Yeah, he's going to be really good. <laughs> he's going to be really good. I feel like he's got 30-30 potential for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, he's got 30-30 potential. Wow. Dude, it feels like all these Baltimore Orioles have 30-30 potential. Yep. Yeah, they all do. You know? Yeah, they all do. Like, Wow. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. This guy took us deep twice in spring training. My God. Oh, well, yeah. He's just like, rip that pitch. He Dude, how good. good was his dad? What was his dad's name again? I think he, uh, Roy, uh, not Roy Holiday. No, no. Um, Matt Holiday. Matt Holiday. Matt Holiday. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I could be like tripping. He's no, he's not. not. But uh, he's only 44, so maybe he yeah, maybe he's got getting... a chance. Yeah. Um, he, uh, wow, yeah, career won, 80, 89 OPS. Yeah. yeah. Won a batting title. Um, yeah, wow. He was really good. Yeah, he's probably not eligible yet. He only no. came out in 2018. Yeah. But, um, yep. That's a guy. Pretty good. 299 batting average. Had a season over one OP. Had multiple seasons in the 900s. That's pretty solid right there. That two and one on solid. two and one on Hanley. Got Green trying to finish off this inning. Hit three forty one year. <laughs> wow. That's probably a batting tally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's ripped on left field line. Caught though by the MVP, Kevin Biggio. And the Blue Jays, they let up one, but they still got the lead in the sixth inning. Here we go. Let's put up some more, guys. They say his younger brother is as good or better also. Oh well, that's God. that's scary. Has that kid been drafted yet? Is he on any team? Probably not. His younger Bro brother? Wow. What's going on with the younger Guerrero siblings? Where are they at? One got signed by New York, I know. I saw yeah, that. 16 year I did old. see that. But, you know, he, they don't go through the draft. They get through the international yeah, um, yeah. Sort of signings. So. But I guess that, like, the holiday boys are doing it the, the draft way. You know? Yeah, the Americans. Visual snags, we catch there. Oh, yeah, man. MVP, classic. Classic MVP, Visio. Performance right there. <clears throat> All right, yeah, bottom of the six. Blue Jays up six to five against a very... Honestly, very entertaining Blue Jays Orioles matchup. You see, and the Orioles do stuff, the Blue Jays do stuff. Pitching kind of non existent in this one. Wow, that, this commercial's great. Yeah, that's yeah. a perfect commercial. This is a perfect commercial. I literally watched the girl go, Oh, it's raining. We have a beer. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, Yes. Yeah. You Imagine know. it's a hot summer day and then you get cooled off by a little rain and, and a beer. I'd be like, Oh, it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> 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 oh, I want to go and drink beer outside. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best, isn't it? It is the best. Uh, no, like two years draft. Okay, well, he'll probably go like first round. <laughs> I, well, if he's as good or better than his brother, absolutely. Yeah. Might yeah. even go first overall for all we know at yep. this point, you know? Yeah, we have. Yeah, looking at the top prospects, Blue Jays had it in 2019 with Vladdy. And then uh, Ted Bay with the Wander Wander. Where oh. the hell is Adley Richmond? That's not oh, true. Yeah, that's, that can't be true. I mean, the, Adley Richmond was at the top for quite a while. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. All right. Well, who do we got up for the Blue Jays? I think we're going to have... Is it going to be Kirk? No, no. Kirk already hit. Yeah, it's uh, I can't. It's I can't. Yeah, okay. So wait, what is Alejandro Kirk then? Today, uh, he is one two, for two for or one for two, one for two, two walks one with oh, no, he's one, no, he's one for one with two walks, yeah, and an RBI. One for one with two walks, <laughs> <laughs> one and one right now on IKF deals. That it's one's inside. I'm sorry, who's not getting Jay the game? Yeah, yeah, it's this guy. <laughs> he's uh. Oh, Tell you what, for two. I'll give you Jay the the game if you have it inside the park homer right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm done for that. Three and Three one. And one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Three and one. That's... And base hit for. <laughs> hey, he's got potential. He's got, is this oh guy going to mess up? Ah, oh. uh, only a single. Yeah. If that guy like stumbled and fell down, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, no way. <laughs> Breaks his ankle. <laughs> Center fielder's running over. Yeah, First yeah. baseman's like, what? That would be so clippable. Oh, I know. You know if this guy gets inside the park home run, and then he actually does it. 
All right, Kevin Bisho MVP. He's up. First pitch. That's in there for a strike. Let's go. I can't find the game now. Oh one. That's uh, down and away. Lantigua in for IKF running. One and one on MVB. How many home runs do you think IKF will hit this season? I'll go with what eight. His, what's his career like average? I'm gonna guess eight. Maybe that's too much actually. That I think might that be, might a bit be too, much, too much. Yeah. Much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go four. I'm going to cut mine in half. Four home runs. Let's see. 2 and one right now on Kevin Biggio. So, how many at-bats? I think he'll get, like, maybe 400 at-bats. 400 at-bats. Uh, his last 483 at-bat season, he had four home runs. Okay, four sounds like a good number, though. Yeah. In 635 at-bats, he had eight. I don't think he's going to have that many. So, I'll go... Yeah, I'll go 4 2. That feels good. Five's not a good shout. Or not a bad shout, I mean. Um, Big breakout year if he gets five. Yeah. Oh, God. Put this guy in the four spot. <laughs> <laughs> Full count on MVP Biggio. To be honest, three, says Finn. Okay, a little downer over here. And strike out from Kevin Biggio, and Lantigua gets in there safely. Drop ball by the shortstop. And that's a strikeout, but a stolen bag. For Lantigua. Nice. Maybe IKF could go five for five. Or, uh, or like five and five this year, you know? Ooh. Hit the five and five club. Oh, my God. What an elite company. <laughs> 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 Bottom of the sixth. What's going on here? And... What, what are we doing? We're going, oh, he's getting, like, advice? Oh, they're doing a pitching change. That's oh, okay. why. All right. I was like, did they take him back at first? What's going on here? Dude, 11 homer IKF? Dude. Wow. That would be crazy. I'll tell you right now. He's not hitting 11 home runs. He's not hitting 11 home runs. I bet my life on it. If he... Would you actually... Yeah, what's what, what am what's I the options? game? Yeah. You know, like what's what's okay. Yeah. Well, realistically, if it was, um, uh, would you let's say if you win, like if he doesn't do it, you know, you are I don't know, you, you get like a billion dollars. You know, you'll be good forever. You're you'll be good. Your you know your kids will be good. Their kids will be good. But if he does hit eleven or more, you will be dead. You will be shot. <laughs> 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 well, I don't think I would do it then. I don't think I would do it then. But, but it's like, it's not only just, you know, like... You 12. <laughs> 12 of them around? I think I feel a little bit more comfortable. Has he ever done, gotten anywhere close to Eight. 11? Eight's the highest. That's with 683 at-bats. And I think, I'm a firm believer that he'll get his chances early and then someone will come in and take playing time from him. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, that'd be so scary, though. It would be terribly scary, but a billion dollars, I know. and it's your lock. Man. Imagine he hits like four in April. I'm like, oh god, I'm so wet. Uh, if he hits four in April, then we're going down to the Rogers Center. We're gonna do something about this. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can't let this happen, bro. You know. All right, everybody. Uh, pitching change there for the Baltimore Orioles. Who's up to the disc right here? Brown is batting for the Jays. All the starters are starting to be taken out. Man, I was kind of hoping that we'd start getting getting to a place where like they let them go the whole game. Or at bats, yeah. Like yeah. they took out Vlad. I think they took out Bo. Took, I think yeah, they took out Springer. Yeah. yeah, as he is right here. Did he go there? I don't think he did. No. No. Turner. Two no right now. Alex Pham. Ben, does IKF have does IKF have power? No. No. <laughs> Probably. We're about to better life against eleven home runs. Yeah. <laughs> That's a ground ball. Gonna be out number two, and it is. It's gone. Yeah, like if this guy was an MLB the show, 
character. I actually am curious to see what he is ranked. I just got him the show today, uh, 24. Uh, if he was a character, I'd, I'd bet he has like 30 power. Maybe, maybe that's even too much. Like, I can see him literally having like 28 power. Yeah. Orf! <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite guy. Orf! Orf. Up to the dish for the Jays, everybody. Deals. That one's in there for a strike. 0-1 on Orf. Brennan Orf. Orf! Orf in single A hit 224 last year oh, with no home Orf. runs. Orf. Only 35 games, though, so... Orf. Oh, pass ball. We're going to advance. I think we are. Yeah, it's going to be an advance. Yeah, we're moving over to third. Okay, we got a chance. Orf. Orf. <laughs> Marina's like, not Nick and Adam from the future. You're referencing our, our crap and all over. Um, IKF, because... Yeah, and the future Nick and Adam would be loving ICAM. War for the ground ball. And it's going to be a tough play. He drops it. And we're going to score. And Jays are up 7 to 5. Let's go, Orf. <laughs> that was an error, but um, Orf, it was such a hard hit ball by Orf. Shook up the first baseman. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Orf. Orf. Oh, he's upset. Oh. Nevin. It's okay, Nevin. Don't you sweat it. Guys, 116 people in here right now. Yo, it's Santiago Espinal. That's in for a strike. Wow. Completely. That's how I know this guy's going to be starting not with the team because he's been relegated to this minor league, like, prospect off the bench kind of guy. Like, he's just not starting games anymore for the Blue Jays. Wow. Poor Espinal, 0-2. Dan Schulman even said, this guy just didn't even swing the bat. Oh, I would, aw. I feel so bad for Espinal, man. He just looked at all three pitches. I mean, wow. Yeah, you gotta go to the minors, dude, and just have like a good full season in the minors. Like, you've been, you've been playing the bench role for quite a while now. Like, go to the minors, get your regular playing time, get better. Poor, poor... Or Espinal. All right, going into the top of the seventh right here, folks. Toronto up seven to five. Been a very fun game, if I'm being honest. Duke of Duke of Rodtown, seventeen oh five. Saying I'm back. Welcome back, Duke. Welcome back to the the stream. Leah, maybe you can go into sales or something. Oh, oh he's saying his career's over. Espinal has an all-star accolade. You're not wrong, Carl Anthony. You're not wrong, my man. It's uh, it's just that was in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. What's 2021? 2022. I think it was 20, 2022. Yeah, I think it was 2022. Uh, but he's on playing time now. Last year was not a good year for him. And you got another guy who's like IKF. Uh, didn't like the IKF signing. I'd rather have Espinal, but it's what it is. I know Marina. Well, he's going to start, man. Mar Marina, he will be starting. Or uh, at least with the team. I mean, uh, Ernie Clement. Hey, I know that guy. The pizza commercial. So I used to work in acting school, and that guy went to our school. He's really, he's really successful. He's been on Nickelodeon. He's been on a bunch of crap. Um, shout out to Logan Altman. Legend. All right. Top of the seventh. Who's going to be pitching for these Toronto Blue Jays? I got a feeling it's going to be some better guys in the pen. You don't have Romano. You don't have Swanson. They've been doing some elbow stuff. And I am completely lying. It's a random. <laughs> Let's see who is this guy. That one's ripped to right field. First pitch swinging, and it's going to be caught by the right fielder. Good play there by 98. Avante Brown. Let's go. Nice job. Is that Espino? Or is that Espino? 
Is that Espino? I gotta double check. It's... No, it's Isert. No idea. One out here in the top of the seventh. Game is moving pretty quick now. Now we got all the big boys out of the game. Peyton Henry has come in to catch for Alejandro Kirk, so that officially closes the book on all the regulars today. Do you think Schneider is going to be the guy that just plays for whoever is rotated out of the lineup, like the outfield plus infield? Um, I think him and Biggio, uh, I think they're going to platoon second base to start. That's kind of going to be your basis point. Like, if everyone's healthy... You know, Kiermaier, Varsho, Springer, they're all good to go in the outfield. Icamp's good to go at third base. Um, it will be a platoon situation. Matchup, lefty, righty. Gavin Bijou, uh, Danny, uh David Schneider will be in the lineup. They, they have been saying that uh, Kevin, Kevin Bijou can hit lefties. He's been getting better at it. But I think that's mainly where it's going to start. And then I, I think if you have, um, you know, you need an off day for Varsho or, or uh, KK or whatever it might be, then, or, or IKF, maybe he's struggling. IKF is struggling, and both Biggio and Schneider are kind of popping off. Then I think you might see them share some time in the infield. Or, like I said, the outfielder guys, one of them goes and plays a corner outfielder. I think that's where you'll see the role. They're, they're, we have two utility guys as Kowser drills this to deep center field, and that is way gone. That was a monster shot. And that... Puts another run on the board. It's 7-6. to six. Still Blue Jays. Baltimore, Toronto battling here. Kowser. That was a bomb. Holy it's crap. Never oh. ending with these guys. Dude, he's got five homers this spring, Kowser. What the hell? This guy, Colin Kowser, has five homers. What in the hell? Baltimore is pretty good at baseball. Yeah, they got a great team. Baltimore is pretty look good at, at baseball. Look how far this goes. Oh, I think it's over the batter's eye. Yeah, you know, I don't see it come down. It's over the batter's eye. That's insane. To deep center. That could be like I gotta see 470. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah no, I, I'm, I'm checking on baseball savant right now. That's got to be a lot of feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like a lot of feet, guys. 2-0 right now on Nevin. Oh, boy. Drug test that guy, says Jid. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah, exit velocity 110. There you go. That was four, what would you, what'd you say? What'd your guess was? I said like 470. 463. Wow, okay, I was on. Yeah, that had an expected batting average. Guess. 650? 1,000. A thousand, wow. Yeah. Actually, yeah, what am I yeah. saying? Of course it'd be a thousand. 463. Yeah. Of course it'd be a thousand. 110 off the bat. <laughs> Expected batting average of 1,000. Wow. That's a strike three and two. Yeah, oh, and uh, uh, Abba Edgar, I think maybe you're in the bathroom for this part. Abba Edgar was saying that the Orioles' schedule to start is very good. And he was reading it off. That one's oh. ripped to left. That's going to go. Gone. That's gonna go. That's and it's all tied ball. up. Well, seven to seven. Well, Icert gives up two solo shots to the How Orioles. How did that happen, man? How did you that happen? Putting a guy named Icert versus these elite Orioles: Tyler Nevin, Colton Kowser. God, wow! Just like that. Wow. Just like oh that. gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna read off the Baltimore Orioles schedule. You can you give me your reaction of where how, how hot do you think these guys are gonna start? <laughs> All right. So they open up three game three games against the Angels. Uh interesting. What the hell? My app's glitching or it goes March 31st to May 1st. Can you not do that, please? 0 oh, 1 right now on Stowers. Okay, that was a weird glitch. Baltimore starts the season three games against the Angels, three games against Kansas City, 
Three games against Pittsburgh Pirates, mm -hmm. three games against Boston Red Sox, mm -hmm. three games against Milwaukee Brewers, three games against the Twins. That's probably the hardest part of the, that stretch. Three games against the Kansas City Royals again, and three games against the Angels, then three games against the A's. That's the start of their season until April 28th. Hardest team there, the Twins or Brewers, I'd say. Wow, that's a, like... I don't know how many games that was, but that feels like a like that feels like an eighteen and five, you know? Yeah, like, that, that does feel like an eighteen and five. What the hell? If man. you don't go eighteen and five, that'd be good. That's that's <laughs> wild. Yeah, two and two right now on Star Wars, but my goodness, I mean, they don't have a lot of American League East. They got Boston in there, and Boston will be tricky. They'll they'll drop some games to Boston. You know, Boston will win a couple that they shouldn't. Ooh, oh my and god! That's, oh, and they're gonna god. be an thank, thank you. God, thank God. Two gone. Needed that. Yeah, that's tough. Baltimore rolls into my 24 and 10. Yeah, it could be. Into New York 24 and 10, says, uh, says Jed. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I think that should be the expectation for them. They should be that good. That is a fly ball. This will be the end of the inning, but not before Izert gives up two solo bombs to then tie the ball game. And we got, uh, we got a ball game. Still got a game going. Still not decided. Wow. 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 I'm, 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 I'm just surprised by how good this, this team is. It's not even the, the Cowser might not even be playing with them. No, <laughs> no. They're just, you know, they get it done, dude. They just get mm. it done. And it, yeah, like the development is great. Everything, everything is just great. It's all great. Okay, everything's good. <laughs> Two inning baseball we're playing today. That's right, Jen. Basically, that's well, we got the advantage. Actually, we got the advantage. Two and a half inning baseball. Heading off. Uh, talk to you later, everybody. Bye, Duke of Town, of Rod Town. Excuse me. See you back here on opening day, March twenty eighth, my man. That'll be a lot of fun. Can someone explain why Clement is going to be the starting second base to start the year? I don't know if he's going to be the starting second baseman. Um, he will be a second he, baseman. I think he's going to be on the roster. But um, uh, to explain why he gets the roster spot over Espinal is simply he has no options, and he's been phenomenal this spring. And he was really good coming up for the team last year. Espinal not having a great spring. And not having a great year last year. And yeah. has options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Example. All of the things, you know. Well, you're gonna you won't lose Espinal and just send him out a triple A, but he could be back at the end of Espinal. Yeah, maybe we should do Junior J's one time. <laughs> is there like an age restriction, you know? Yeah, there is. Like, 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 to run the field, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <there. laughs> yeah. We show up, Google go, go, Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Spencer Horowitz, who came into camp thinking he was going to get a job, but then we signed Volgabach and Joey Votto. And then uh, says falling out of the running, but hey, he's got options. He'll be, with the t he'll be in the running at some point to come up during the season, so who knows. Oh, big swing and a miss. Ooh, when I win. Horowitz chops that one foul. Oh, Joey Votto update? Yeah, Joey Votto update. Okay. Okay. Still day to day. Okay. He's day-to-day -day right now. He'll be back in the lineup soon, he says. Same update as before. Oh. 
Or it's having a good at bat right now. Still two and two on the guy. Kitty Flower Smith saying, I'm wearing my Blue Jays Today hat. I love it. Let's go. Let's go, Katie. Big shout out to you. Yeah, guys. Uh, we, have, we actually haven't shouted out the uh, merch yet, but we'll do it a little bit later. Um, sure, I'll do it now. <laughs> Uh, Keegan Matheson with a huge Votto and Vogelbach update. Really? really? Oh, wow. We were just talking about it. How so? Oh, is this about the milkshake? <laughs> oh. Yes, it no, is. This is not about this. No. I thought you were talking about that thing we were talking about. Wow, that's funny. Mark Harris Fantasy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. Shout out to the merchandise. That we've got on this channel, guys, that Katie Flower Smith is talking about. She got the hat. I don't know which one you got, uh, Katie, if it was the dad hat or the... I think you said it was a neutral uh, black last time I remember. Uh, if, you wanna got, if you guys want to get some of this merchandise, go to the description down below. Go to nationgear.ca slash bluejays uh, today, and you'll see it. You'll see it. We got a hat. It's on our set, but I also got a separate hat because I don't want to ruin the hat on the set. I want to... Wear one, because if I start wearing it, it's going to ruin it. Black dad hat. Okay, my dad got the black dad hat, too. That's a good one. I wish my mom would let me get a shirt. Come on, Finn's mom. Come on. Let Finn get a shirt. It's for opening day. Opening day is in nine days. Finn's mom. Green one. That's a strike. Get back there, Martinez. Get back there, guy. <laughs> Fans are bowing. <laughs> Not a relevant Martinez. He's no longer here. Three, two. That one's ripped by Martinez. Going it's back. Gonna Are we going to go over? It. Off the wall. Off the wall. Okay, double. It'll be double, yeah. He's going to hold up. He's not. He's thought about three for a while there. He, he holds up. A one-out double for Martinez. Not Aurelvis, the other one. But Henry. Yeah, that one was hanging. Henry, he was a backup catcher. Like, kind of like our fourth catcher. Fenway Park is ugly. Fenway Park is beautiful. I think it's I think it's got beauty to it. That's you know? yeah, I mean and that's not a hot take, man. I mean no. most people I'd say would say that, right? It's yeah. it's kind of the ugliness of it that makes it nice, right? Yeah. Like backyard baseball, like ah, we, we gotta play somewhere. We're, we're gonna use the elements around us, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. We got a highway over here. Well, let's build a big wall. See, I kind of, yeah. what I like about it is the interior of it. Oh, I love it. Uh, where, you know, and it, it, like, it's just like the, the whole layout of it is yeah. kind of whack, we right? Went, like, we went back in 2022 on a road trip to New York and Boston. First time either of us went there. And yeah, it's wild. It's, it's confusing to get around when you're first there, but it's wild. It's good. 0-2 right now on Peyton Henry. That and is strikes. swung on and missed and gone. Two gone. Gone. Can we score the runner from second? Who's going to come up from the Blue Jays minor league system to do it? Eight Fenway bulldozed it already. My gosh. What the heck? Don Brown. Oh, Canadian. Ooh, whoa. Fastest player in the system, 22 years old. Wow, okay. Yeah. Little speedster right here. Yeah, he's a See, guy. those statistics are stuff that, like, that could get you to the show yeah. alone. That could get you to the show alone. A little Cam Eden. This thing is, like, if you're able to roster a guy like that, because, like, all he'd be is a pinch runner. If, That's it. You know what I mean? That's it, yeah. You come up, you run the bases really well. And every time that we put you in, you steal a bag. Yeah. Every time. 
Oh, oh my God, he struck out, swung and missed three times. That that bat won't get you yeah. to the show there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, top of the eighth we go, everybody. We got two innings of baseball left. It's a tie ball game. Dude, look at how awkward Jose Burgos looks here. Like, look at his eyes. I know, dude. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. They're, I picture them just be like, okay, Jose, and now uh, just maybe play with the baseball a little bit. Yeah, like you could just see it in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Like he does not want to be. Yeah, there. he's like, okay, now. Um, just, yeah, hold it up right there. Thank you. Now look at it. Now, now tip your cap or something to me. Thank you. <laughs> Same. Okay. <laughs> Can I go back to uh, training now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, wait, who are we crowning? We got to decide. It's crowning? gonna have, I mean, it's gotta be VAR got show, it. you know? Okay, it's gotta okay, be VAR okay, show. Okay. All right, well, you wanna do it? Sure. Okay. All right, everybody, it is time for the player of the game, brought to you by Tim Horton's roll up to win, and it is none other than Dalton Varsho. He continues his torrid spring today. Massive home run, massive home run in a key moment. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's his first home run of the spring, but what I really love, and you guys know it, I love the change in the approach, in the batting stance, and hey, he's got nine walks and only three strikeouts this spring. So not only is he doing it with some power, he's also doing it by getting on base and providing some uh, more base runners for these Blue Jays to drive in home. 100%, dude. I mean, with his defense, if he can just be an above-average bat, like he doesn't need, even need to be an all-star level bat, no. just an above-average bat, that to me is going to be so valuable. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Shout-out to Dalton Varshaw, who is this player of the game. And again, shout-out to Tim Horton's roll-up to win. Download the app to play today. Maybe you could win. That would be dope. Yeah, and also like, uh, oh, do you have the roll to win? I do. Oh, uh, let's we're, go, guys, baby. Guys, we're gonna do it right here, folks. Let's go, All baby. of us, we're gonna do it. I got three roll up to wins. Let's go. Three roll up to wins. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, folks. I'm 0 for five right now. I'm, I'm 0, 0 for, for as well. I'm 0 for as well. But again, if you do miss, you do get entered into a 10K jackpot every single day announced at midnight. So even if you do lose, you might still All win. right, here we go, everybody. Come Taking on. this first roll. That one's going to be fouled off there by Kierstead. Give me something good. Oh! You win? You oh. win! Oh. I, I won 160 Tim's reward points. That's right. That's right. I think if you get 300 or something, you get like a free coffee or something like that. Okay. Don't quote me on that. But hey, you're like halfway there. I almost won a coffee. I think it's yeah. like $16 worth of uh, reward points. So you Six, had to spend $16. Oh. So you kind of won. I think so. I could be okay. <laughs> okay. being responsible on them. Now I have 391 oh, wow. rewards points. That's so elite. That's, that's, that's elite. something, you know. That's definitely a thing or two. That's elite. All right. We will, I got, I got uh, three more. Or two more, excuse me. Jitsen, give the boys a Toyota. I think it's a Volkswagen this year. Volkswagen, uh, man, that'd be dope. I'll take <laughs> a, too. I'll take a Blue Jays today car. You know, two and be two the, pitch on Kerstad. That's, that's gonna be, gonna be hitting a the play. Base hit. A Jesus. Blue Jays, the, it'd be the Blue Jays today wagon. You know. Oh yeah, hop on the wagon with Blue yeah. Jays today, sponsored by Tim Hortons. All right. Not uh, gonna be my lucky cup on the second one. Damn. That would have been that would have been crazy if I could have strung those hits together. Yeah. Uh, like the Blue but, Jays in spring training. Yeah, 100%, dude. I'm, I'm feeling hot on this, I'm feeling oh, on this last about, one. About three today, right? Oh! Oh! oh, oh holy! Yo, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, okay, so I got, um, <laughs> wait, I got, I got five cents per liter discount on your next 100 liters of gas with Journey Rewards. Okay. What's up, Journey? I didn't even yeah. know that was a thing. Didn't even know that was a thing. Is that a lot, guys? I don't I drive don't anymore. Drive, yeah. I don't drive anymore. I used to drive all the time. I don't drive anymore at all. But, um, hey. I mean, I guess my mom will get five cents off a liter Let's go. for the next 100 liters. So, shout out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think about it, yeah, if, it's, if a gas, I don't know how much gas is nowadays. I'm going to be probably honest. Like, it's, it's a dumb amount. If it's, it's like 180, amount. you'll get 175. Okay. That's... that's that's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. An email has been sent to my email with more details about claiming my prize. Yeah, send it to your mom. Wow. Shout out to Tim right. Orange, guys. I just popped off. Promotion goes on until March 31st, everybody. So get, download the app, buy some coffee. It even happens with food. So if you buy a coffee and like a sandwich, that's two. You get two roll-ups there. Mm -hmm. A little, little, mm -hmm. sneaky, mm -hmm. uh, little sneaky stat there. Two and one on Norby. That's a swing and a miss. Two and two. Five cents off is a liter is uh, five dollars of gas. Yeah, that's true, Jed. So you'd save five bucks. I mean, hey, anything. 
Anything's a winner. Five bucks off gas? Yeah, off of 100 liters. That's actually pretty good. You know, take it. Full count on Normie. Oh, it's 160 points, one dollar and sixty cents. That makes more sense. Sixteen seems like a lot. Oh no, no, no! But I think that that's like what it equates to, though. Like, yeah, because you, you yeah. said I said it was sixteen dollars worth. But of it, but yeah, of buying. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense of buying. Yeah, but not but then it translates of, to that. yeah. So probably it it would be one hundred and sixty points mm -hmm. when I spend sixteen dollars, right? Which gives me back ten percent. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing too. Um, Katie Flower Smith says, "What if you don't drink coffee? Well, buy a buy a wrap, buy a hot chocolate. That's true. You still get roll up to rim uh, stuff, true. roll up to win stuff." Sir Video, that's a great name. Sir Video, I'm all about that. One out and one on here in the top of the eighth. Everybody, grab some beaver bits. That was actually a good promo. I like the beaver bits. It was just like a lot of hype around it, but I still liked it. Do you guys live in Toronto or the GTA area? We actually grew up in the GTA area and we moved to Toronto for university and stayed here after. Down and away. Be, uh, two and one. We still got Ice started in the game who gave up the two home runs last inning. Come on. We're getting into the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have uh, seen this matchup. This is going to be my road to the show new campaign, guys. This is what it's going to look like. I yeah. wonder what I wonder what my new. I played as myself last year. I think I want to like make a fun character this time around. Yeah, make I, a personality, I, right? I kind of want to be a woman, if I'm going to be honest. Like, it's they, they, right they, out, man. Why not? You There's know? a new feature. I know someone. Someone was being Taylor Swift on a, on a road to the show thing. I'm like, that's a great idea. Wow. Yeah, it was like Taylor Swift hits a 525 foot bomb. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Two and one right now on Sir Video fires. That one's gonna be not in there for a strike. Really, I thought that one was for sure gonna be in there for a strike. It is not. It's gonna go for three and one. Icer, come on, guy. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? You're wasting my time. Hey, swinging a miss, three and two. What other platforms are you guys on? Uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Twitter. We got a Discord yep. as well. The cool. link to our Discord is in the description. Go check it out. All those links are down there, guys. Check it all out. Follow us there. If you want to, uh, we we've been kind of flirting with the idea of uh, of playing some video games mm -hmm. in our Discord. There's one game that both Adam and I oh, have been yeah. loving and playing a bunch of together. Yeah. So we were, you know, kind of flirting with the idea. Of maybe we'll just be doing that just for shits. Yeah, we could just start there and just have fun with it. Yeah. You know. No game. Yeah. Uh, full count. Fires. That uh -huh. one's going to be hit into an out. Come on, call it, call, call it. it there, you go. there you go. That happens with the minor leaguers, though. They really want to be the one to make the play. And the errors happen. Yeah, it's not, yeah that, that grab out there in the outfield is... Uh, Difference, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to remember that. Yeah. John Snyder's going to go... Mm. <laughs> yeah. We made the routine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I'm playing when I'm playing road of the show, that's when I go, oh, just get me through this. Oh, and my guys won like three gold gloves already, you know. It's shout like out to uh, so sorry, just shout out to Smart oh. right there with the uh, with the subscription saying Let's don't go. buy the show on the Switch. Don't buy the show on oh, the Switch. Oh gosh. Yeah, I get that. I mean yeah. the the Switch is the Switch is a great platform, but I mean like you gotta you need it's a not beast. Des it's not designed for games like that, yeah, you know? Like, no. it's not designed for games like that. Uh, what game? Helldivers 2. Yeah. Helldivers 2, everybody. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Oh, wait, what am I doing? It's, it's, it's dun, 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 dun. Yeah. For democracy. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Discord link is expired. Yeah. Uh, really? Fuck. Yeah, it always expires. Okay. Expires all the time. Hold up. Let me, uh, can I get it on my computer? I might be able I think to. you can. Might have. Oh, wait. Uh, hold up, guys. Hold up. Oh, yeah. There you go. What is this? Hmm? I don't know. Oh, this is your uh, one. Um. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sweet Liberty. Yeah. 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 Who else is playing uh, Helldivers? 
Hell Divers 2, guys. That's where it's at right now. I've never, uh, well, that's not true. I definitely have. But I haven't seen for a while a game take the community by hold mm -hmm. and then be able to hold on to them for this long. You know, it's like it had that initial level of hype, but it's yeah. not tapering off. Like, it's like I'm not tired of it yeah. yet. I'm not bored of it yet. I'm still, and, and they're doing a really good job of updating it quickly, yeah. creating some lore. Yeah. Around, so I actually care about the universe yeah. and the story. You know what the difference is? I was going to say, like, well, I kind of felt the same way about the finals, but here's the difference. In the finals, you're going to reach a place, if you're a casual video gamer, where people are going to beat you. They're mm -hmm. going to smoke you yeah, in competitive yeah. landscapes. Uh, and then you got kind of get frustrated. Whereas this, you, it's hard to get frustrated because you're not facing anybody else that can, like, outskill you. You're facing, you know, computers, um, and you're working together for a common goal. Which is what makes it so special. And at the end of the day, if you're getting smoked, you can just go to a different difficulty. Just change. Yeah, you can just change. You know, change the difficulty and then yeah. grind there to get better, to try again, you know. 0-1 right now on Handley. Fires oh, that one his head. Oh, we him. Wow. It's a good thing he ducked down, too, because that one could have really... I could have done some damage there. And <sighs> he's going to get himself on base for free. Yeah, here we go. This is, this is what it's become. They're about to add the Illuminate, too. Now oh. we go, boys. Yeah, dude, I, I heard about oh. that. I, we never played the first Hell Divers, but uh, but I heard that yeah, like they, they got the the third uh, the third faction or the third enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heard I'm about the cyborgs them. too. Maybe they'll come in at my, some point. <laughs> my my TikTok is just exclusively yeah. Hell Divers content. Like right now. a lot of Hell Divers memes. Yeah. <laughs> one to know right now on Robinson. You've probably seen this one, the one from Shrek where um, Lord Farquaad's like when you're calling in the orbital on the boys. Some of you may die, yeah. <laughs> but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. such a good one. <laughs> I've seen so many of those. All right, one of the Robinson Cook. That's that is popped up. Okay, get me out of this inning. Get, no. Oh, wow, it's going back. No, it is going no. Back. It's over no way. That's going to be a run. That le maybe two. For it's going to be two runs. Wow. For it is nine to seven. Wow. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter because the starters are out, but it would have been nice to be able to yeah, beat these guys. I know. Would have been nice to be able to beat these guys. That one just kept carrying. Wow, that, that looked like a pop-up, and that kept carrying. And guess what, dude? I don't remember your routine play that you made a couple of <laughs> yeah. ago. I'm going to remember this. Like, if you made this play... I would. I, I would remember that. Yeah, actually, you know? why didn't he make that? I don't know. Like ducked, I, like I feel like he, he didn't know, or like like. Yeah, what? Look like me. Should have made that play. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Should have made that play. Yeah. Yeah, he like pulled it back. Why did Why did he pull his glove away? The, the wind is blowing out, but you you got to make that play. Yeah, not good. 1-0 right now on Trimble. Oh this one is hit into play. Get, please make the out. No oh, it's off the wall. That. That's another run. 10-7. Oh, here we go. Getting pounded. And that's a RBI double for the Baltimore Orioles. Great, great, great. I think Jansen or Jano will be ready for opening day. I do not no. think so, guys. They've made it pretty clear that it's going to be two weeks until he resumes baseball activity. Mm -hmm. If it was two weeks until he's swinging the bat again and feeling great and whatever, mm -hmm. that'd be a different story. But to resume baseball activity, that means now you're taking batting practice, now you're going to the gym, now you're doing all that shit. So probably more like two weeks after that yeah. it, when he'll be ready. They catch a game in AAA. Yeah. Probably see that. Isaac De Leon. And we've still got two outs. Ten to seven. Damn, dude. I know that sucks. I feel like this is gonna be indicative of the season with these guys. Yeah. You know? Battle, 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 battle. battle. Just couldn't yeah. couldn't keep battling. No way, you know. Couldn't keep battling. Granted, you know, we haven't seen the bottom of the eighth yet. No, you're not wrong. Oh my god, and Cook throws it away, and the runners can advance the third. Still two outs. We but... are dealing oh, with yeah. some minor leaguers here. We are dealing with some minor leaguers right now, guys. We're dealing with it. That situation where it's like how is he going to know the plays? I mean, you got to pay attention, but... What the heck? Yeah, he was over there, like, patting his glove, but didn't expect an actual pickoff. Like, what, what is going on? This is sloppy baseball. Watching some sloppy baseball right here. Spot brought to you by Tim Hortons. Roll up to win. One and O's popped up. Come on, get end the inning. End the inning. Thank you, Horwitz. 
Thank you, Horowitz. There we go, folks. There we go. Ooh, I hated that. Yeah, that was the worst, and I don't like it anymore. Bottom of the sec, or, or bottom of the eighth, excuse me. God, it was bottom of the second. Oh, God. We're going into. Uh, <laughs> Peter says, should have had a nap at 7 to 7. Now I am too pissed to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Oh, did you just read the message in the chat? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah in Blue Jays today, Pat and Dylan were like, hey, like he shouldn't be able to leave with all those with no draft picks and yeah. not paying and like yeah. this late. And I was like, oh, yeah, actually. like That's true. It's the keeper deadline today. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, and you didn't say anything you to us anything. at all. You don't have any draft picks, so nobody wants to take your team. Yeah. Like, that is kind of bullshit, yeah. actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, it's only the... Yeah, I yeah, know. I am out of it, man. It's been a long game. I'm hungry. Like, I'm really hungry right now. Um, almost 4 o'clock. This, this live stream has been almost going on for an hour or three hours, excuse me. Hey, uh, spoiler alert, guys. We're going to be interviewing Chad Dallas later mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to come out tomorrow. Is there anything that you want us to ask the boy Chad Dallas? Started the first spring training game for the Toronto Blue Jays uh, this spring. He had some good outings. He had some bad outings. But at the end of the day, he really only pitched. I was looking back at this. Only pitched 4.1 innings yeah. this spring. So very small sample size. Is there anything that you want us to ask Chad Dallas about uh, mm. about him, about the team, about his future, about his about anything? Yeah, he uh, he's kind of put his name on the map as like part of our depth system. Like after Espino, like I'd say it's Chad Dallas. He's right there, like as that tenth man. So let us know. Ask him how it feels to be an absolute stud. <laughs> Maybe that's the opening question. That was on the <laughs> that was on the docket already, man. <laughs> How's it feel to be a Owen won on Lantigua. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the other, that the other day, Chuck. The Montreal series, before COVID, Jays used to do the Montreal series where they'd go play like two games in Montreal against one team and then uh, and they'd start the, start the regular season. Yeah, that's, that. that should be a thing, man. Does he like the name Chad? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, and oh, they mess up now. Here. And that's going to be two bases. Let's go. Okay. Lentigua gets on. That's the thing, man. Maybe, there, maybe we do got a chance out here, okay? Maybe we do got a chance. Dude, imagine we're just asking Chad, like, what's your favorite number? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest shit. <laughs> favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> I think that they got it. They got to include more, um, more baseball in in Montreal and stuff. Did I say this on a stream recently? I might have said this on the stream, but I was thinking about this the other day, a little while ago. Oh, Whoa! Big swing monster miss. hack from Geraldo. I was thinking that the best possible thing for the Toronto Blue Jays would be if the Montreal Expos came back. The best possible. Yeah, thing. I, I agree. Because immediately rivalry. a rivalry, and now if you're the Toronto Blue Jays. You're competing for viewership. Yeah. And that is going to yeah. incentivize you to play fucking hard. This is a fly ball to center field. We are going to get a tag in advance. Okay. okay. We're cooking. We're cooking. One out and runner on third. Cook. Cook. Dude, he had the last game in Montreal's Vladdy hitting a walk-off. It was perfect. That was crazy. That's when I first heard about Vladdy, and I was like, who's this guy? And he was late. And like obviously everyone in Montreal is like fucking you know standing ovation and how'd he hit the walk off? Wow. Devontae Brown up to the dish deals. Yes. That one is low. What an out. What an out. Talking about the Blake Snell signing right now. Where is uh is Buck and everyone? Yeah, Buck was saying, like, he's surprised he took so long to get a job. I mean, yeah, because you're a Cy Young winner. But Scott Boris, the way he managed his clients, and I guess the market out there wasn't really loving the way the prices that uh, Scott Boris was asking. Yeah, man, it's just like, 
And also, too, that the players were so far from a sure thing, yeah. any of them, right? Yeah. It's just like... And he was treating them like they were established veterans that have been put up consistent years and yeah. deserve lots of money. Which is not what they were. That's not it, man. That's not what they were, you know? I personally, like, six years, 182, I have no idea why I didn't why? take that. Why? Like, that that's, seems... That's, a, that's almost too much. <laughs> that, yeah, like, that, like, he's getting up there in age, like... I just don't know how you could possibly expect him to make more money yeah. like elsewhere. Dude, when we offered him like like multiple years, a hundred over a hundred million dollars, like what why aren't you taking that? Yeah. That's what you want. Oh, you're talking about Matt Chapman. Matt right? Chapman. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, because cause Snell was offered one eighty two six yeah. from the Yanks. And yeah. we offered Chapman like a dumb amount. Yeah, like at least five years and over a hundred million dollars. What are you doing, dude? No, it doesn't make sense, man. It's a failure. Full count on Brown, and he walks. Base uh, got runners on the corners. Everybody. It's obviously like a ho a lot. It, it, you know, it's difficult for me to say because I imagine Matt Chapman had Scott Boris in the room and other representatives yeah. saying like, "Hey, dude, like you can get more if you do this." Yeah. But you know, like if you're st actually actively staring down 120 million dollars, uh, you're already located where you are. Yeah. You know, like. This is it. Like, you're good yeah. for life after this. You're yeah. good for life. What are we doing? Forever. What Your are kids doing? are good for life. Why don't you just hit the accept button? That's a ground ball. This could be two, and it is. It we is. don't get it a run. It is going to be two. Double play. Ends yeah. the inning. 10 to 7, everybody. That is uh, the eighth inning. Brought to you by Tim Hortons. Roll up to win. Once again, shout out to Tim Hortons. Everything that they have going on there. The promotion is lasting all the way to March 31st, folks. So go buy yourself mm -hmm. a coffee, buy yourself a drink, buy yourself anything from Tim Hortons. You will be entered. You watched me win two out of yes. three. I, I had a great uh, game today. That's a great game. I had a great game today. I went two for three. We had a, we had a Varsho game right there, or a Springer game. Hell yeah, yeah. guys. Hell yeah. yeah. So it is possible. Hop on down to Tim's and uh, become a winner. All right, bottom of the ninth. Here we go, everybody. Blue Jays got to somehow get three runs here. I don't know if they're going to do it. We'll see. Am I off my rocker, or do you feel Bassett could contend for Cy? I put a sprinkle for a $500 payout. Oh, my. I honestly think he's going to be lights out. I don't think you're off your rocker, necessarily. No, no. I think that, again, it all comes down to the payout. It all comes mm. down to the payout, right? Like, Chris Bassett... Um, yeah, I mean, oh I would bet you that Chris Bassett will be, like, you know, top 16 or something in Cy Young. Yeah. Whatever that is. Uh, so, on his bestie Rever, is it possible? Just maybe. Maybe. He really turned it on late. Uh, this, you know, and you love the, love the strikeouts late, too. Last year, he was top 10, Cy Young. There you go. And he had a 366, or 360, excuse me, ERA. With the whip uh, 1.175. I mean, if he could have, actually, let me let me just make sure. You, you know, he was doing uh, doing good in the second half. I feel like he, had, he was pretty consistent all year long. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Maybe he can get better. The one thing that I'll say about Chris Bassett, though, um, which will you know kind of hold him back a bit. Uh, actually, last year he was pretty good strikeout wise, right? What he like strikeout wise. He was pretty good. Yeah, he got 180. 186. It's pretty good. Okay. But That's I hear what you're good, saying. not great yeah. compared to some of the other guys around the league. He's oh. going to have to have a very small ERA. First half last year, 419 ERA. Second half, 289. If he pitched with that 289 ERA for a full season. You're in the conversation. Yeah. You're in the conversation. And, and for strikeouts, too, he had 90 innings pitched for 84 strikeouts. So, I mean, kind of similar to what he's doing the, yeah. uh, prior to that. He's, he could be in the conversation if he does in that second half stuff. And again, no mm -hmm. Garrett Cole, so mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. I like it. I don't hate it. Yeah. All right, we got a new pitcher in for the Toronto Blue Jays here in the ninth. Let me grab a name for y'all. That it's is... It's Cook still, actually. It's gonna me. be... Make the play. And he, oh he doesn't make God. the play again, and he's running back towards the I infield. I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him. Look. Yeah, that doesn't look good defensively out there. I think this is the guy who's the Canadian? I'm well, actually not sure. I like you because you're Canadian, but... I actually don't know if that is him, though. 
It's brown. I actually don't know. This isn't oh. him. It's a different guy. Oh, look at oh. Oh. Where no. are you? Where? How are you missing it that bad? It's just. It's all falling apart for this guy, man. It's all falling apart. <laughs> yeah, for real. This guy's had some. I mean, that second one off the wall of his head wasn't his fault, but the last two were. Yeah, it was race, tra uh, tracing it it's back. All falling apart. Wow. No. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, that's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's 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 deadline day. One and one. That's yeah, gonna be an RBI. Yep, an oh, RBI single. Wow. There you go, eleven to seven. Wow. Orioles, <laughs> Orioles are crushing us. Damn. Wow. All right. Well, that sucks. Espinal looking over. I just saw his reaction. Uh, looking over his new teammates. <laughs> well. Nobody out. Run around first. Here in the top of the ninth. Cook is getting, getting beat up right here. That's a pass ball. That's not even Cook's fault. That was Henry Davis or... What's his name? Peyton Henry. Peyton Henry. Man, this game has uh, really gotten away from the Toronto Blue Jays double A, triple A squad. Yeah, well, come on, guys. What's going on here, lads? I want this game to be over. In... What time is it? It's like four. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We have, like, we're interviewing Chad Dallas in, like, two hours. He hasn't got back to us yet, so it's possible he might want to push it back. Yeah, we've, I, we've been going back a little behind the scenes stuff. We've been going back and forth with him. I mean, obviously, he's been in spring training playing games. So. Yeah. And also, he could be in something right now. Who knows? Yeah, he, he is throwing today. He is yeah. throwing today. So go. I wouldn't be shocked if... Uh, oh, actually, he just said should be good on time. Cool. Okay, so. There you go. Shout out to Chad Dallas. There you go. Working out with the boys. All right, one and two on Rhodes. Is Cook going to finish this one? Nope, that's going to be a liner into the gap. That's another run for the Baltimore Orioles. 12 to 7 is the score. Still nobody out. <laughs> it's all bad. <laughs> it's all bad. And the, the worst is I don't even, like, care. Like, no. we're, not, we're not even seeing these guys. That is the worst, isn't it? Been saying gotta go by. Don't blame you, dude. Don't blame you at all, man. No, I, I'd be on my way out at this point. Five runs down. Um, their minor leaguers are better than our minor leaguers. Leah's saying she can't wait till we get an accurate reading of whether we can beat these guys. Yeah, I mean, well, even we were going toe to toe with our B lineup That's today. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's, the problem. <laughs> That's not even their good guys. Swing and a miss. Strike. 0 and 1 <sighs> on Benuetos. Great name. God. Getting angsty right I now. I wish that Cook could actually cook. I know. Because if Cook could actually cook, then what the graphic name. would hit like crack. Yeah. The jersey would hit uh, so hard. Yeah. It would all be perfect. And instead, we're going to have to watch Ponce. And <laughs> because I, Cook can't finish. Because Cook can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we could maybe do a graphic. I mean, maybe we can meme it a little bit where, like, it's the scene from Ratatouille where the guy without the mouse is like, oh, he's like messing up because he doesn't have the mouse under his hat anymore. And uh, he's like fumbling and spilling crap. That would be it. Connor Cook. <laughs> One and two. That one's drilled. Cook is getting demolished. That's another, not a run at this time, but it should be first and third. Yep, it's going to be. Oh, no. Oh, they throw him out going Okay, second. you wow. know what? I'll wow. take that, dude. I will 100% take that. Please, please. Out in any capacity, dude. Cook can't actually throw right now. <sighs> I feel like we're going to get a pitching change soon. Cook's at 20 pitches. Was that the center fielder? Hey, it's center fielder. Throwing him out. Wasn't a good throw, but that was a hor more of a horrible decision by the base runner. Don't know why he would do that. And Cook's out of the game. I got to use the washroom. We're going to get pitching change. Okay, guys. It is a, uh, it's a, a tough sledding here to finish this one off. 12 to 7. But as you boys know, as you boys know, Blue Jays today sits through all the tough games. 
all the tough ones we sit through. I don't care if we're down by 25. We're going to be here for that final pitch, for that final out, everybody. We're not going to leave y'all behind to have to suffer through this by yourselves. Because we understand. We understand. If it's not the regulars playing, it's tough to watch. So many minor league blunders. Oh, I understand, Warren. I understand. This is like... I wonder how many spring training games we watched at this point this year live on on stream. Because I mean, even when we're not live, usually we got the spring training game up and in the background as we're doing stuff and just paying attention to it. But but live on camera, we, we got to be closing in on double digits at this point. I think, I think, I can't say for sure, but we're getting up there. We are definitely getting up there. Our only hope is Baltimore's top closer is out. Yeah, yeah, man. We still got to hit the ball, though. We got to hit the ball. Let's pretend the game ended after the seventh. Wouldn't that have been nice? Wouldn't that have been nice? Listen, if the game ended when our starters left and their starters left, I think because they still had Jackson Holiday in for a while and he is going to be playing with them. But I think we would have been, like, winning or either tied. I don't think we were losing. So there you go. But wow, 27 hits in this game, an error apiece, 12 to 7. The runs just keep on coming. No, not anymore. Not yet. Ponce hasn't, uh, hasn't come in yet. Oh, and that one is going to be a fly ball caught there. And is he going to go? And he is. That's another oh run. Oh, my God. That's another run. 13 to 7. Good stuff. But at least we got an out. I'll trade Let's, runs for outs right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Just get get me out out. of this misery right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, for real. They're trying to they're trying to leave, but they're just too good. They're like, ah, oh, another base hit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's like more runs. Shit. Oh, damn. Come on, guys. We're trying here. That's a ball. What a no. Swing and a miss. One alone. On Hanley. Ponce, never heard of him before. Never heard. Ponce steals. Way high. We lost it a little bit there. Two and one. It's Nick's fault, saying Katie Flower Smith. He doesn't have the spanking paddle. I'm saving it. <laughs> I'm saving it. I mean, to be fair, they've been spanking, but, but we've been getting spanked. Someone's got to have, like, a spanking guard. We got to wear. We don't get spanked. Armor. Bots. Yeah. Well, we used to, we, remember it was the, the, floppy, the floppy stick. Uh, the stick. floppy stick. <laughs> floppy stick. I think we need a new floppy stick. Yeah. The floppy stick started to get a little gross at the yeah, end. Yeah, it was nasty. It, did, it never worked. Well, it never worked. yeah, it never really worked, but, you know, maybe this is a new year. Maybe a new <laughs> yeah, floppy new stick changes We're going to start you know? it right at the beginning. A new floppy stick. Three, two. Strike out. There and we're go. finally there out of go. the inning. Oh, my God. Baltimore scores, I think, three more. Yeah, they score three here at the top of the ninth. And the Blue Jays are just going to try and catch the bus home. Actually, they're in Dunedin. They'll just, they want to go home. 84 people still watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button on the stream. And consider subscribing, guys. I'm trying to get to 23.5K subscribers. Uh, and if you love the stream and the commentary, join us in nine days for regular season baseball. It's going to be fun. We'll be right here having some drinks. Probably been doing content before, after, around the entire opening day weekend. Can't believe, can't believe Belt's still a free agent, Screams. Uh, says Screams. Um, yeah, I mean, he put up a good year. If he wanted to play, I bet he probably could find some home. But he was considered retiring. I wonder what the story's going to be there. <sighs> Have to get uh, more coffee. 
Uh, a little side note, you guys know that uh, on our show we drink a lot of coffee, usually probably for every single, <laughs> every single uh, podcast we ever do, and our Keurig finally broke. It took, it had its last pour. It's been, it will pour like half your cup and then the rest will pour it on the counter, like underneath. Yeah. It'll come from the underneath. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a slow death, dude. I have noticed that thing's mm-hmm. been like slowly, you know, dying. slowly dying, and like, and sometimes like it, it's just it's not registering the pod. Yeah. Even though I put it in, I take it out, I put it in, I take it out. It sometimes doesn't register chunks will come through. Oh, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, honestly, it's a hall of, hall of Famer right yeah. there, Hall of Famer. But um, it, it, it's been here since before university. It got it got us through our university years. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, uh, Keurig for sure. Got to retire but, uh, that bad boy. Yep. We can make a little thing on that for a little for the fans, for the OGs. A little fun short for you guys. Clement is the breakthrough player this year. I hope so. It feels like it. Him and Bowden are up there. All right, everybody. Uh, bottom of the ninth here. Ooh. Toronto Blue Jays just need six to tie. It's Santiago Espinal who looked at three strikes down the middle and never swung. And he's starting off with the same thing. He did not swing there. 0-1. Are we just conceiving the job right now, Santiago? Dude, that's what it looked like, bro. <laughs> I was like, why is he not swinging? 0-1. Oh, 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 he's swinging here! here. Go. And oh my God! No. no, that would have been so good. That for would have Santiago. been nice, dude. I would, I would have liked that for him, dude. Yeah. I mean, you can go to the bench, hold your held head high. You hit it really hard. You got good contact on it. Just would have been nice if it could have gone. Yeah, all the way. I mean, he, I think he's going to be a really great AAA player. You know? Oh, it'd be a great AAA player. I still think he belongs in the majors in some capacity. Yeah, yeah. he does. I mean, he was an all star, so yeah. like. Dude, we have a lot of guys who I feel like could be on a, excuse me, be on a major league team. Like Horwitz could probably be on a team somewhere. I mean, literally the A's. Yeah. Horwitz could be on the team. Espinal, Bolgabach, they all could be on the team. Yeah. One one right now, on Spencer Horwitz. Oh for two on the day. Let me <sighs> do this, Jays. Are we gonna go crazy here? Let's do it. Fouled away. Oh, fouled off. One and two. Uh. Mm. And the uh, Chad Dallas or Link. Mm-hmm. One and two on Spencer Horowitz. And that's upstairs. That's upstairs. All right. Two, two. Spencer strikes out on a fastball upstairs. And that's two quick outs here for the Blue Jays AAA team. Who's going to be up? It's going to be our boy. Is this Lantigua? I think it's Lantigua. No, it's Martinez. Hard to guess when you don't recognize the face. That's a strike. This guy's doing good work. Is this, a, is this an MLB or McGow? No, no. His stats were all uh, single A, double A. I don't know why I was thinking. No. At least he wasn't last year. Uh. Oh, that's ripped left field. That's going to go. And that's all the way. Martinez and with a homer. And that's all the way. Okay. All right, we'll take that. Okay. We'll take that. Suck I'm it. about it. Suck it, Orioles. 13 to 8. You thought you could put us down in the dirt? No, you're down in the dirt now. Kind of. Aiden says, love you guys in the channel. You guys are full time now, and he plans to redesign the studio in person events. What can we expect coming Ooh. home opener moving forward this season? Great Thanks. question. Yeah, great question, dude. Uh, so, yes to all of that. We are waiting on a couple things right now. For the home opener, I mean, um, for the home opener, that's interesting. Maybe we could do something for the home opener. Uh, for the actual season opener, we're going to be right here doing what we mm-hmm. typically do, uh, popping off all weekend, just streaming like crazy. 
Uh, but we are having some new things coming into the set. Uh, we're hoping to get a studio space for yeah. us. Yeah. Very, very soon. Uh, that's a little bit out of our control, but yeah. it is coming down the pipeline, hopefully at least mid-season. Uh, similarly, about events, we're going to have a great space. We can say it now. Greta Bar. This is a new mm -hmm. arcade um Arcade big bar. recreational yeah. like space bar where we're gonna have our own like set space to host events have our show there mm -hmm. it's gonna be fucking awesome so we're gonna do that like i'm hoping at least once or uh, you know once, once a month a or something yeah, yeah. would be perfect uh so yeah it, it, it should be a, a very eventful season we're just waiting on a couple things to uh to, to finish before we can fully plan it out yeah, lots of lots of good stuff there, guys. Yeah, and there'll be probably some, uh, maybe a subscriber meetup game here and there. There'll be lots of events where we can meet up and do fun things together. Uh, doing lots of giveaways as well. As we, as you know, we got our merchandise this year. So, you know, stay tuned, watch our live streams, come to the Greta events. I bet we're going to be doing giveaways in person as well. You guys don't want to, you guys don't want to miss it, man. Blue Jays today, 2024, hashtag bad for baseball. Let's go, baby. Give it two on Henry. That one is hit into play. This might be the game. Be the game. And it, it is, is going it is. to be the game, folks. Toronto Blue Jays lose that one. 13 to 8. <laughs> Slugfest. I liked a lot of what I saw from the starting players today. Yes. I mean, not Chris Bassett's best outing, I will say that. But on the hitting side of things, the lineup just keeps humming. At the end of the day, Baltimore's elite. We knew that they were elite. They're always going to be elite. They're going to be a problem. They're going to be a thorn in our side all of 2024. But we can control what we can control. And right now, Varsho and Kirk and Springer and all of them all are looking good. All of them, guys. Super excited. Nine days away from opening day. We said it throughout the stream. We'll say it again. Tune in March 28th to our live play-by-play. -play, where we're going to watch the Blue Jays take on the Tampa Bay Rays at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you all there. And have a few drinks if you're legal. Not drinking any. 100% guys. Thank you so much for watching, folks. And as always, Go Jays Go! 13 to 8. Yeah, we put up a fight. <laughs>